Bam. 93, baby. 93. I've gotten rid of all the saves. Or rather, like, I've, I've backed them up. They're in a different place. Those memory cards will hopefully never be overwritten because they've been backed up. But, uh, yeah. We're starting with two blank memory card slots. As you can see. Nothing. Nothing. Let's go. I'll I'll just let this whole sequence run. It's fine. Meanwhile, I'm going to like in the background have a bit more of a look at the beginning of this low level guide. See if I've like got the right one. I'm pretty sure I've got like the good one. If Chrono used it and he got the badge, then it's good enough for me. Earth deserved better. She deserved better. She was too pure. I'm, st I'm still reading. Oh, choo choo train coming. We're arriving at Midgar shortly. Please leave the train in an Alira fashion. Indeed. So, damn it. I, I, I haven't got to the bit where I need to get to. Uh, let me just skip ahead in the guide. Welcome, Trucker Luke, by the way. We're starting off a low level run. We're trying to get a badge, so... Okay. God, okay. Oh, I also have to, um... Get my, um, Firefox set up. I don't think I did that prior to. So let me just, uh, let me just do that now. Let me just check. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not there. Alright, let me just quickly deal with that. Okay. Something like that. Okay, good, good. Okay, first mission. Search potion, and then... Then I fight the two. <laughs> if you have trouble here, yeah, put down the game. Never, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. Now, the reason why I'm being so careful is because, um, with this low level challenge, the, um, you have to keep your party, every single person, below level 28. And that's a tough ask. That's a tough ask. What it basically requires is me just reading off a guide. So it takes a lot of the fun out of the game, but I'm not here for fun. I'm here for the badgie. I'm here for the badge, baby. Ew. I leveled up. Ew. Sacrosanct. No, not Sacrosanct. Blasphemous or something like that. Anyway. Alright, uh, right. right. Hey, boys. Just keep a look out. Hey, Fatty, talk to me. No? Okay. That's right. I'm one of you guys now. My name Cloud. I, I can't be bothered changing their name. My name Cloud. I've never done a low level run. Hopefully it's not too annoying. It doesn't matter what your names are. Mm. Hey Barrett. delicious let's look at the iconic shot oh well one of the iconic shots now if we speedy gonzalez i don't think we come into a random encounter i could be wrong however i can run away We don't want that XP. XP is dirty in this run. Talking to NPCs is dirty. It's just... I can use fast forward. I'll probably use fast forward as much as possible just to speed up the process of this whole thing, I think. Except when there's like a big cutscene. Uh, Yumi? Thinks it's a potion or something? Phoenix down there, yeah. Push the button, yeah. Have a big talk about the planet. I was like, I don't give a fuck. Barrett's like, ooh, you why I order. <laughs> Oh, I got Yoda. Jesse, hold up. You too fast, girl. God damn it. Run away. Can we catch up to her? Nah, she's too fast. Could have, the, could have kept the door open. That's all I'm saying. Fine. Now this is where that guy, what's his name? Circle something? He spent years here, grinding fucking Cloud and Barrett to level 99. What an absolute chad. Fuck you, dick tree. dropping periodic saves because 
with a low level run, I expect things are going to get very sketchy very quickly. Because usually I'll be relying on, you know, level ups to kind of just bulldozer through battles. You know, because I'll, I'll be like a HP sponge. Okay, I'll pick up the material, but I won't use it according to the guide. I shouldn't. And I can't even touch it yet anyway. It's not just a reactor. Alright. Um, alright, so we have to. Uh, I shouldn't use my magic, so I, I shouldn't. I'll be good boy. I would, I would adhere to the principles of the low level run as laid out in Garland G's guide. Gonna do his scorpion tail. I mean, his defensive scorpion tail. Now? Fuck. That's such. That's such bullshit. Should do it too. It's such bullshit. I got caught out. Lay chop. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit congested after last night, I think. Last night, whew. We got some fucking work done, holy shit. Like, one of the more spastic achievements for this game. And the Iron Sword badge, oof. I was putting in their work, baby. Putting in their work, baby! Oh, let's go. If I was using magic, this might be... Well, it would be faster. Oh, you know what? Did I fuck up here? Yep. I was I was meant to let fucking um Barrett die there. So that he doesn't get the experience. Already made my first mistake. Doesn't bode well. To think that um, a seemingly like infinitesimal amount of X XP will have such a crucial factor on the, the entire run it just blows my mind. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Uh, 
I don't quite want to hit him right this moment. I just want him to, you know... I'll kill him... I'll let him kill Barrack just before he's about to expire. I don't know how... Because it's not like I know how much fucking um, HP he's got. I'm not keeping a track of this in my mind. Come on. There we go. There we go. Just keep targeting Barrett. Come on, come on, come on. Shit. <laughs> Shit. No. No. <laughs> How did I know he was going to be close to death? I don't know. Uh, restart. <laughs> Come on. There we go. This will hurt. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't say to do that multiple times, mate. Sit Barrett. Fuck now. I don't want to waste all my potions either, you know? I wonder if that's enough to kill him. Mm. Oh, um, <clears throat> this will this will do. Thank you. Okay, now what's what's next? I just need to like read ahead a little bit. Yep. 
That was a pretty poor fight. Using multiple potions. I'm sure we'll figure it out. No, leave Cloud alone. Fucking hell. I'm gonna give him another potion. I don't care anymore. my body I'm now able to... Okay, I can't remove the material yet. Okay. So... I think if I go the way the Barrett's heading... Yeah. Now, there might be... Right, okay, it's Aerith. I'm getting mixed up with the, the area behind here, I think. Oh, don't touch. Don't touch her. flower from a pretty girl mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right can we get like some uh potions no oh, there's one. Oh god i need them i think there's another somewhere but uh i'll be bothered Slam that fist. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up. Alright. We bobby boo boo. Oh, 
We got a bright future, Wedge. Very bright future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 Very fascinating. Now, if I just do this, that should freeze the time of the game. Good. Okay, I need, I just need to read ahead. Ah, uh, we can re we can read together. Yeah. Six grenades. Pick up the ether on the second floor. Have to pick up all material first. Right. Then buy eight potions. Same game. Okay. I'm going to save the game right now anyway, because, you know, the potential for fuck ups. So. Now, I heard that you can wriggle past these guards here, which is interesting. Yeah, <laughs> if the pillar came down, everyone would die, wouldn't they? <laughs> sure hope that doesn't happen. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, bro. This is my special place. Shut Barrett. How can I wiggle past this guy? There's got to be a way. If people say that there is a way, then there's got to be a way, right?
It's gonna be some sort of glitchy. It's not worth me trying to do it, to be honest. Oh, wait, wait, shit. Oh, is, is Johnny saying goodbye yet? Oh, no, no. He's getting kicked out of the bar. Here, get the fuck out, Johnny. Right, right, if you try going instantly. Oh. I didn't do it fast enough. Like, if you go straight there, like, Barrett's like, huh, ah, I wonder why you're so keen to get in, huh? Implying that, you know, he's like rabid for Tifa's titties. And maybe he is. Maybe he is. Let's just, let's just get this over with. No, I'm not Papa. I am Cloud. Ah, uh, you are not Tifa. You are definitely not. You are Tifa. Tifa. Give me some hard. Loves taking it hard straight up. Alright. Yep, he's totally fine. He's not an amnesiac taking on the personality of Zack. He's, he's totally fine. There was no one there. <laughs> exactly. I want my money, Barrett. I want my money. Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to leave. He was like, eh. The promise. And then we have a flashback. Sorry. Me sorry. Boom, 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 boom. I'm a being soldier. I'd be like Sephiroth. Yeah. And Sephiroth came to my village and killed my family and everyone else. I don't want to be like him anymore. <laughs> I'm going to kill his ass though. Why? Why I'm why Cloud is able to kill him? I've no idea. Yeah, fifteen hundred. Yeah, give me give me two thousand and uh, I'll do it. Marlene don't need no schooling. Just needs a slap. Slap across the face. She gets out of water. See? She's already like a, a bartender. Oh, damn it. I, I could have said something like a uh, error to uh, Tifa. Oh, well. It's fine. Shop, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shop, shop, shop. Second floor, there is. Oh, wait, Johnny. Goodbye, Johnny. The 
Johnny backstory, I never really figured out. Maybe he left because he thought Tifa was hot for uh, Cloud and he thought, shit, I've got nothing going for me now. I better get out of the slums. Which, good, which was a good move on his part because everyone got fucking smooshed here. Apparently there's an ether on the second level. Oh yeah, as well as like the... Um, room. It was so much dialogue back in the day. Yep. Ether? Yep. Love it. Yep. Uh, no. No. We're not doing that. It's not like you get free items, otherwise I might try it. But... Okay, we can save here though. I'll drop a save. I like how everyone's miraculously fully healed. That's uh, that's good shit. This is where the kid um, tries to charge people money. We uh, know about that life. Now, if I just press this, good. Okay, we're meant to buy eight potions. Buy eight potions. Oh, and buy six grenades. And also unequip the uh, materia. Might be unhealthy for you. Um, six. Item shop. This is the material shop, I'm pretty sure. Maybe doubles us both. Both. Okay. Potion, we want. I want to say nine, because I think we fucked up. Like we we um we used like one too many potions during that scorpion fight. So I want to say that that's good. Um, let's unequip the material now. save but I'll do that outside. Johnny's parents are in here. We're not here to do story, we're here to just get the Chivos. Let's let's keep it on track, Aaron. Let's keep this shit on track. I think I'll yeah I will save over the top. Okay, and after the next portion, I'll go to the the, um, the next slot for the save. Yeah. You say some. I said you say some. I can kill you. I like this one. He worked for the Shinra. He, he literally aims his fucking gun at the dude's face. 
imminent death. Yeah, that, that's like the difference between uh, Barrett being angry, like going BAM! And then he's like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm straight up about to kill you. I think like he, he only does like something like that one other time in the playthrough. But that's like a top three Barrett Savage moment. Barrett is very angry. Now, talking to this guy. Yeah. Okay, right. I think you have to talk to him in order, in order to get like a potion during this section. Right, I'm going to F1 because I need to read ahead here. Let's read ahead together. So we're all on the same page. Yep, yep, hit Phoenix down. Want the item? High potion. Third car, steal money. Instead of running, just stop and stand still when the man passes you. Ah. Oh. Okay. Man will steal from you if you run through the car. So stand still. But you can also double back and talk to him and then he gives it back. So. The main thing is just getting through this security bit. So Phoenix down. Um... High potion and don't get my shit jacked. Okay, got it. I'm just pressing to your, your back right there, Tifa. Okay, yeah. Okay. Find that ticket. Oh, that's interesting. You're able to do it without doing the one. That's pretty cool. Yoink. Okay, so who who's got who's got the fucking No, got me. Okay. I messed up. Uh I'm gonna have to uh Oh, we did a save before, so it's, it's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but you know what I mean. Like, it said that there's a, a dude in the middle of the second car, but that's like, he's on the far end. So, thanks, guide. Unless, okay, did I read it wrong? Okay, no. At the left side, by the entrance to the third car, it's like, it's a lot of words when, like, you're trying to, to rush through the thing in 15 seconds. So, whatever. Yes, we're, we're around the thick of a sale. We're, we're doing the low level run and I have to follow a guide to the letter. Pretty, pretty much I have to follow a guide to the letter. That said, there's no like real grinding at all. So, whereas my last play was over a hundred hours, this is not gonna be anywhere near. And I'll be hopefully using the fast forward function a lot as well. Come on. Yesterday was just whew, such a high.
getting the, the uh, Iron Sword badge as well as like the three um, Final Fantasy shows. Oof. That was some good shit. Yes, I would. Give me your Phoenix down. Thank you, sir. No. If I die in the gutter, use that to revive me, okay? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> if I die in the gutter, wow. Give me. Hmm. Is he gonna just... Fuck. Give me shit. <laughs> I was fucking, like... He couldn't get, he couldn't get past me. So I, I walked. I didn't run. I, I literally, I tapped my joystick so he could get past me. And he's like, Ding -ding -ding. I'm gonna pickpocket you now. I'm like, oh my fucking god, you piece of fucking garbage. Piece of fucking garbage. So this is definitely like a good reason to save like often, very often. Because the 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 parameters for completing this are just way too stringent. Give me shit. So, if I die in the gutter, use that to revive me. Okay, wow. Well. Okay, so it's, it's option two. Basically, let this guy, like, fucking steal my shit. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to him, confront him. That's right. Thank you. And I think that's it. No, just, just keep going through. What's this? Yeah, whatever. There we go. You look great just like a man. <laughs> um Yeah, you do. Just like a man, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, class next. Goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beginning, beginning of the mission. Yeah. Alright, excellent. Now, once we're in the tunnel. Oh, okay.
it doesn't say much, but it literally just said, you know, plant the bomb. Um, so that's like right at the end of the section. Okay. Let me just get a, a tissue. I need to blow my nose. No need to go backwards, just go forwards. Ready. Um, retro arc has to be the focused window at all times. I think I'll just pin it. That way it won't like minimize. And I think it stays the focus window then. Unless I do this. No, okay. I'll just do that. It's easier. Run away from every battle. Oh, okay. I'm right here. Oh, wait, uh, is that just... Oh no, it's not me. Okay, I thought that the game was chopped off, but no. Interesting. I can check if it's chopped off. No. It's perfectly fine. Beauty. I think there's like treasure around here somewhere. check this this new one uh -huh. not what I was looking for I mean let me let me back it up I want to see like new um what's his name wedge Nothing around here? Okay. Hey, big boy. <clears throat> yeah, it was all your fault. So yeah, there's, there's, there's that way where, 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 that um, Biggs is guarding. Oh no. I didn't do it fast enough, that's why, it, you know, whatever. So what about the one here? Where's this lead? There. Uh, it's always good to drop the save. Because we could get like, um, battle fucked.
Ja. Und hat. Definitely not a sin to like just save and save and save in a well over run. Because imagine if I fuck up and I come back and then like I have like three or four random battles, which like really mess up my health. Tifa's old friend, that ain't good enough. She it. Yep, yep, yep. I'm not kidding, like... <laughs> I just, I, I want to get through this, uh play through with as little effort as possible, as little, as little pain as possible. It'd be even worse if they said, okay, under level 28 and under 28 hours. That would be um, very upsetting to me. Delicious. That won't open up until I do this. I, of course, can get it on the first try. It's just, you know. It's not like you get like a special reward for it. Yeah, this is within um, acceptable parameters. If you're wondering why it looks like when I'm running away, I'm kind of glitching out and I'm not running away. My my shoulder buttons on this are fucked. Okay, now this is the uh, the air buster, I believe. Okay, I've read ahead, and it looks like we have to fight smoggers to get deadly wastes. So, let me show you. Here. I need three of them, so basically they're saying three battles with two smoggers.
Before climbing up, you should get into a battle and kill off Barrett and Tifa. I'm not quite sure where these are. I'm just gonna do random fights, I guess. Two grenades. To climb. Are they talking like at the very beginning part? Okay, I think I know where this is, but let me see if I messed up by saving over my, my thing. Oh, I hope I didn't. I really hope I didn't. I should do like a safety save as well, shouldn't I? Mm. Anyways. So in the area where um, Jesse caught her leg, well, I mean... So here's a smogger, but a proto machine gun. We, we can't, it has to be two smoggers only. Um, was it this area? I think it was. Yeah, this area here. Okay, two smoggers. Um, so, it's said to have, um, both, uh, Barrett and Tifa killed? Oh, I see. Alright. Let's just get out of the battle first. We'll drop save. Fucking bitch! God damn! Okay. Save here. Get into a random battle. Kill off uh, Baron and Tifa. to drop a save here because I did all of that so that the um the XP gain from the smogger battles would be very low as per the guide okay it's on this screen here I'm guessing if I 
No, I'd, I'd prefer just to walk around up here. Here we go. Deadly waste, please. At least one. I'm aiming for three overall. If I get more, excellent. Still not getting lucky, lucky, but I'll take it. Holy shit! We're gangbanging me. Can we not gangbang? Can we please not gangbang? Thank you. and cloud that would also be spectacular. Oh no. Yeah, you guessed it. We have to do those battles again. So I, I I have to save after every battle that I get a deadly waste. So restart. Ideally, I'm gonna reset until I get like a battle where they drop two. That way I can do the mandatory three battles that they're setting out, but I can have six deadly wastes because that can only be helpful. Why settle for second best, you know? There we go. Good hope.
You sons of bitches should be dropping one each. Shit, no! That finger, that. That sucked. Give me two. Give me two. Give me two. Uh, I'll take one. I'll take one. Let's save. No, you know, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's let's be hardcore about this. Like we're getting we're getting a six. Like if we're going through this whole process, I mean, it makes sense. You motherfuckers drop something. You stingy bitches. Give me all the things I want. I can get two, right? I, I, just, I just want to confirm I can get two. I'm pretty sure I can get two. No, you can get two. Don't settle for second best when, like, we're right here and we can just save. Like, go back to the save. It's like, you know, 20 seconds. Oof. Don't worry, I'm not disheartened by this. This is like an opportunity to get a leg up in the game. It's one of the few times that we're allowed to battle, so... If we're gonna battle, like, give me max goodies. Because that's what it comes down to. I wonder if like, oh no, I should keep Braver. Yeah, I probably should keep Braver because of the Airbuster boss. I think um, if you use Braver on a person, it stops them or it slows them. Or I'm, I might be mixing it up with another one of these that it breaks. Maybe cross, cross slash, whatever. I can do this for as long as you can hold out game. Ah, oh, 
it hurts. Because you're like, oh, I'll just take the one. But I'm like, mm, nah. We're taking two, baby. We're taking two, baby. Because we, we're better than one. Oh, I, I don't need to. Yeah, I can just... Nothing. Very stingy. If only there was a way to manipulate the drops, and you know what, there probably is. But fucked if I know. Fucked if I care. I'll just take the one. I'll just take the one. I don't want to be here all day, you know? Like, if it's like ultra lucky to get two, cool. But, shit. I capitulate. I want to make substantial progress. I don't want to be like. Yay, I got six silly ways from three battles after like grinding for like, you know, two hours. Like, mm, that's, that's no, nah, that's no nah for me, dog. As mentioned um, last night, like, poison is one of the most broken things in Final Fantasy VII. That is why I assume we're trying to get these deadly wastes, because they cast Bio 2 on, I think it's all opponents. So... It's a very pleasurable item. Shit, bro. You give me that shit now. Well, better, better yet, give me two. Give me two in in one battle, please. Being lucky. Hmm. 
Maybe if I change the order. There we go. Save that. Now I'm in the middle. <laughs> no one's gonna be there. You piece of garbage. Shh. Now it's not giving me one. What is this? On the bright side, we've only been uh, on for an hour and a half, so. We're going to get so much done. Hopefully. Do a hard reset. Maybe that does something. Take it. I'll take it. You have to save it for Airbuster. Okay. Don't bother healing him either. Oh, okay, whatever. I just did, but whatever. Daily waste. Da -da. Revive Barry, give him a couple potions. Enter a battle and make sure both Cloud and Barry get limit breaks. Keep, keep Cloud in front row all the time. But move Barrett to back row when his limit bar is full. Have him defend as well.
Now wait till HP falls below 35 and then escape. Okay, he's talking about um, preparation. Okay, this is, a, this is a fairly specific strategy. Um, as you like, you're reading the same shit as I am. But okay, it looks like we've got to uh, revive uh, Barrett and get him to get his limit break up. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Here we go. So I, I did save then, I'm pretty sure here. We have three deadly wastes. We want Barrett to be alive. We use some potions to bring him up. To both to defend. Okay, now is the smogger gonna poison me? If so, like I prefer it to fight a different enemy. Yeah. Would prefer to fight a different enemy. In terms of like, uh, what would you say? Their attacks look spectacular, bro. I guess now we want to get Cloud down below 25. That doesn't really help, but... Potion for Barrett. Barrett can go in the back row. Yeah, 
but I can take the brunt of it. Did I just use a potion on a... Okay. Let's not fat fingers stuff like that again, Aaron. Because these potions are few and far between. Barrett is going to defend. Can we please start targeting Cloud? I don't mind, thank you. We gotta get his uh, HP down to like below 35, apparently. That's it, target him. He's weak, kill him. Kill him. That should be it. Okay. Alright. We're gonna have this battle now. Please don't. Oh no. Are you literally licking the inside of my asshole? Are you literally? Look, I, I think I have to restart because I'm, I, I was using way too many potions to make that happen. And I can't use the Phoenix down. Like, it, it could be important later in the guide. Because uh, with, with these low level guides, you we probably won't have a lot of money during the entire playthrough, so... Sucks. Okay. Well, restart. You. We've got our three. Yep. Um, use one. One, two. Uh, let's change the order. I'm gonna put you in the back row. You literally don't need to be doing anything. Put you off to the side. I can take the brunt. We want to fight enemies that don't use poison, preferably. Like these fellas. Slide around here, and when we get the optimal settings, we'll save. Um, defend. Potion. One more potion, I guess. Yes, target cloud now. Barrett can defend. That's good. Target. Target cloud. Target cloud. Target cloud. That's good. 
delicious, nutritious. Like if they, if they do like, you know, three wave attacks, it's, it gets hairy. Okay, that's one. Just start running away. Okay, that's it. Okay, I think that's it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, good. Okay. They say to put Barrett full health. So we will. He's going to be in the back. Down the front. Switch them back to what they were. And save. Now, the way that they want us to go about this battle is as follows. They say to simply hold down the action button. This is what will happen. First, Barrett and Cloud's limit breaks will be activated in that order. Airbuster counters both of them. And his rear gun will kill Cloud. Then, Barrett will attack regularly. This attack might kill Airbuster, but if it doesn't, his next limit break will. This st uh, strategy can't fail unless some of Airbuster's attacks go critical. Okay, so they want um, Cloud to die. And Tifa's already dead. So that means Barrett will get all, all of the XP for this one, I guess. Alright. Okay. Bobby Booba. President Shinra. Oh no. <laughs> Airbuster. I'm a bust him up. Just hold down, hold down the action button. Got it. Big bomber. Oh, that's pretty color. Titan Bengal. Not a damn thing. <laughs> Later. Like, who survives a fall like that, dude? Who survives? It's like, don't worry, I've, I've been in Soldier. I can survive falls from this height. It's all G. You're right. 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, you could get by with your skin knees. What do you mean by back then? Like right now. Can you get up? What do you mean by that time? What about now? Don't worry about me. You just worry about yourself now. I'm good to try. Oh, moved. Look at that. Take it slow now. If I do. Hello, hello. I know. Hey, who are you? Hello, hello. Hey. Hello, Aerith. Number one, best girl in slums. Do, 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 do. Kill the slum drunk. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. You could uh, insert it in places. So my god again. Yeah. Or let us consult the guide again. Alright. Still five gil? This seems like such an insignificant amount compared to the reward if you let him keep it. It's so weird. <laughs> all right all right this is this is this is getting quite deeply involved already i hate it <laughs> uh resume my name is Aerith. I'll just keep it as Aerith. I keep saying Aerith. You just tread on them. Okay, let's see if I can remember all this shit. Uh, 
course we run away. Of course. Big jump, Sarath. <laughs> Spray with bullets. <laughs> forget which ones to push. Um, I think it's the leftmost. Like if I screw this up, we have to go through that whole sequence again. Shit. Let's hope I'm right. Dickhead. Dickhead, just, just do this one. I fucked up. I thought it was the one in the back corner, but I, I second guessed myself. And this, this guide, <laughs> this guide, it's like, oh no, we're, we're not going to go with the minutia. We're just going to give you like the broad strokes. I'm like, oh, thanks so much, dickhead. Thank you. Um, there are certain bits where it could help, where it would save people a lot of fucking time. God damn it. However, dropping a save so close to the end boss, this is what you got to do on a, on a low level. It's what you got to do.
spray with bullets. Sprays for days. Here we go. No worries. This one. And this one, I think. Finally, eh, eh, this one. There we go. <laughs> Enoir, dirty Enoir, Uplander. Hey girl, come up here. She, she was the one that was boasting. She's like, yeah, I've got what it takes to keep up with a uh, soldier. <laughs> and then we have a big giggle. <laughs> yeah, he, I totally was first class. Yeah. Maybe you know, maybe you've seen me before. Yeah. Finally, we get to a, a save point around here. Um. So this is the front of the church. Right, and there's no save point there. I don't even think there's like an extra cutscene or anything, so... Oh! There's what we want. Just run away. Yes. We drop. A save since we have 30. Okay, so what do they want me to do here? Yeah, the Lutel's Paradise flyer. Uh, which I think is in this this house. Downstairs. There we go. Now I think if you leave his life savings in there, um, he gives you a turbo elixir. Sorry, turbo ether. And here's where we get the hint. What was that? Num num num. Num. Glug glug num num num. Right. Does it really want me to steal this shit? <laughs> okay, here's 
here's the here's the uh, the logic here. Um, steal the little boy's five gil. If you don't, he'll give you a turbo ether. They sell for only one gil. I mean. I'd rather the turbo ether later. Like, I didn't care about this guy. Fuck it. I'm leaving that shit. That's, that's weird. Because they, it, situationally. But I guess, like. If you can't even use magic. But it's only five gil. I'm not stealing from a kid. No. Okay, um... Pick up the uh, ether in Aerith's garden, but don't enter the house just yet. Okay. Oh, ethers. Ethers are, um, magnificent. They can sell for 450. Oh yeah. See if we have a look in here. Oh, it doesn't show it in here. No, it wouldn't. It doesn't show the price. It will show the price when we get to a store. Store. And I'm going to drop save. Aerith's house or Elmara's house, whatever you want to say. One of the more beautiful areas in the entire game, in my opinion. So they're saying don't enter yet. Enter the weapon shop and sell off all your materia, all the ethers, the assault gun and the time bangle. Then buy 66 grenades. Okay. Alright. The, the weapon shop. Alright, right, okay, okay, okay. Uh, material first. Selling them all, boys. Selling them all. Yeah, you see the price for the master? 1.4 million. Wow. I don't even get, like, uh, money for that. Seemingly. That's weird. Oh no, it wanted me to sell the, um... It wanted me to sell, uh... The assault gun as well. Sell the ether. This is where we, like, get the majority of the money, the ether. All material, all ethers, Titan Bangle, Assault Gun. Okay, um... Where's Barrett's weapon? Damn it, I, I equipped it on him. If for some reason you should have less than that, you have only yourself to blame. Wow.
So I, I need to have 280 gil. So what I need to do is I need to um, restart from from the save uh, at Aerith's house. I don't want to do that whole sequence again, although I could. I mean, it's it's like instructions were not clear. Like at the at the the fire, it should say, "Do not equip this because you must sell this later," but it doesn't. It just says like offhandly, "Oh yeah, if you if you didn't do this, even though you weren't explicitly told, well then that's on you and you're a dickhead." So what what are you talking about? Unless you explicitly state it, like I'm not going to do certain things. It's just. Whatever. <sighs> 66 grenades. So I'll, I'll buy like 60 grenades and then see how close we get to it. Sell. Sell all the ethers. Sell the time bagel. They don't seem to give you a lot for the, um... Okay, let's say 60. Sixty-two grenades, sixty-three. Sixty-two. One more. Yep. So you need to have... Exactly 280 gil. So three three grenades less. I'm hoping, I'm 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 really hoping that they're not asking for exactly 66 for this. But alright, cool. That's now done. They're saying like to sell off all the material, but I mean why? You get like fuck all for it. Look, I'll, okay, I'll sell it off. I'll sell it off. Fine. So two eight nine, okay. Mm, there you go. I I got like a skerrick, skerrick of a uh, of guild then. Do I need to do this before entering? Okay, wait, wait. So let me just do that, and let's let's have a look at what I'm looking at. Do I need to do all this here before going into Aerith's house? Don't know. See, it's saying here. Don't enter Aerith's house just yet. Okay, head for wall marker when you're done. I think. No, no, we can enter in Aerith's house when you do that whole thing. We can do this whole thing. I'll drop a save though. <laughs> what happens is like, you know, you fall, you have a little bit of a rest and then you try to sneak out and then Aerith's, uh, Aerith cuts you off and says like, leaving without me, like, and Cloud's like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. 
that he is ad admonished by Aerith. Hello, Elmira. Oh, is Tifu your girlfriend? No way! <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going on a date with you. Always. Because you're dead <laughs> by the end of this one. So we've got to make up all the all the, the moments that we can, you know? music mm. good night Aerith mommy boo mommy boo I don't think that piece of paper is anything. Yeah. Now, if you run, the floorboards creak, and then she says, What are you doing? And you're like, Uh, nothing. And then you have to go back in your room. Yeet. See you, Aerith. Never see you again. Let's check out this idiot. Ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ooh, ah. Uh. Ooh, ah. Uh. Oh, hey, Earth. What's up? Hee <laughs> hee. We'll get to Wall Market, then I'm going to take a quick break because I need to put on some dinner for myself. Oh. So in the previous playthrough, I used this particular enemy to um, raise up my limit breaks. This enemy is perfect for this purpose. Because um, in order to activate the... Like, you get limit breaks, right? Let me just show you. For example, Cloud's got Braver. He needs to use the first one a certain number of times, so like seven or eight times. Um, and then he'll unlock the second one within the level. So I think that's Cross Slash. And once he kills a certain number of enemies, that unlocks the level two. And it follows that pattern like, limit break five or six times, and then kill some amount of enemies. Um, now, for performing the limit break a certain amount of times, that mad house enemy is perfect. So, if you want to get clapped to, like, level three, like, very early on, um, using that particular enemy and exploiting that mechanic, it's, it's good. It's very good. These enemies are bad touch. Nothing. 
Tihi. Cozy. I was rank one. I was first class, rank one. Yep. I liked him for a while. Then he died. So, yeah. There's Tifa. Check her out. Tifa? What the hell is Tifa doing? I've gone alone, you go home. She's like. Can I go in the toilet area? That looks like a toilet. Okay. Alright, we'll drop the save and then we'll follow the uh the thing to the letter. said um we're just going to go on a, on a quick break as i prepare my dinner and then i'll be right back all right <clears throat> man in front of honeybee in about tifa Dilettant. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so we know that he's a. Now that we now know that Tifa is over at Corneo's. Let's go to Corneo. And they basically say, okay, you need like women. You want to come through here? It's like, alright. You, you know, if you've played this game, you know. I think this is for the purposes, um, if, um, Cloud is not picked, there's a mandatory fight. So basically all of this is done to avoid one fight. Oh yeah, dress up like a girl, Cloud. Alright. 
boutique clothing store. So we kick it off by going here first. Make me close. He's like, oh shit, what? What? Soft and something that shimmers. <clears throat> oh, baby. Yeah, get that image in your head. Hell yeah. Papi do badapidi pidi pidapi do. Any junk. <clears throat> what do you mean, you people? They get so defensive about it. It's like they're your people. <clears throat> I will drop a save. I don't want to fuck up the squats and get the shitty week. <clears throat> it's possible. Do not want to be messing up the, uh, the squats with Big Bro. Materia shop, do the favor. Man to man. Woman, leave, this is boy business. <clears throat> Lucky me. Pharmacy, which is here. Sooty. <laughs> yes. Digestive. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yep. It's for the guy that's going poop -poo. to a 100 for the um the inn <clears throat> 70 for the food 200 to get the thing out of the vending machine 
bought a shitload of grenades, so god damn. God damn. <clears throat> The item? Yeah. No. Okay, it just doesn't appear. Okay, interesting. <laughs> he looks so blitzed. Silk dress, we got the diamond tiara. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> I'll save again just because we're doing the squat contest now. Yes. need to get 20. <clears throat> I think the blonde wig is, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> He's like gashed all across his chest. Ooh. Like that description, his fist of steel cut to the bone. Like, oh shit. Squats, I've got the diamond tiara, I've got the silk dress. But I need um to get the, the sexy clone. Ooh yes. To get that from in here. <clears throat> and after giving the digestive to you. Oh maybe. Tell that, that girl was having big shits. Oops. <clears throat> Just want to compare. We got the sexy cologne with the diamond tiara. We got the silk dress with the blonde wig. Now we just need some uh, cosmetic touches. Yes. <clears throat> oh, boutique. Right. Actually, I 
It's interesting. I thought um, I had to go into the, the honeybee. And I think I will. I'm going to do um, get the dress first. And then gonna, I'm going to see if I can get in. But first, I need to talk to this guy who will give me his card. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, so let me see. I've got the card. And if I dress up, will they let me in? Hmm. <clears throat> so that your balls don't swing from side to side. Mm. It's not a very accepting attitude. Right. Let's get in the honeybee. Let's get some of that makeup on me. Hopefully they'll let me in. Oh shit. They're trying to they're trying to get with your boy. Oh are they do they block it off? They block it off, that's interesting. Alright, well, I will have to restart, otherwise I won't get inside the other uh, honeybee to get the, um, the makeup applied. So, uh, restart. Yes. Lucky I dropped that save then. It's a good thing I did that. Check out all these rooms because some of them have some freaky shit. Sit. Is the queen the one um, that has the, the Shinra present? Yeah, yep. Check this out. Alright, so the employees like in, in the sauna or in the bath, he's got like a couple of people all dressed up and shit. Yeah, that's, that's uh, President Shinra. He's got one of the, the workers tied down to a bed or something. He starts talking a little bit about the promised land as well. Please remove the ancient curse. Lover's room. 
take a peek. I think it's got an old couple. And they're basically like, oh, we've never been in a place like this. This is this is too much. Our son shouldn't have paid for this. I think it's got like a little Kate sit in, in the bath as well. Yeah, you can see in there. Alright. Yeah, grandpa and grandma here. Yeah, they're just chilling. top room is the makeup room and we do want to get some makeup on she's angry there will be Not yet. Even angrier. She stung me. She stung me. <laughs> Overdrive. Overdrive mode. This is her internal monologue. <laughs> the dialogue for this woman. Hello. This is the one that gives you the makeup. Think? Hmm. I could have sworn. Maybe later? I'll go out and then go back in. That's, that's another thing. So it's not just the makeup, it's the, um, it's the underwear that you have to get from the honeybee. So I don't know why this, this guide says you need to get, like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Hold my ground. The group room, this is where you get, um, uh, molested by a bunch of wrestlers. And this is where your ghost, um, is. It's debatable, like you get different, um, different uh, stuff. I think in the group one you get bikini briefs, and in this one I think you get sexy lingerie or something. Let's go on this one, because this is more interesting than, like, you know, the, the, the very ham-fisted gay jokes. Don't make me repeat myself, Tim.
Yeah, he did. He's talking about Dingus. He starts getting slapped by a big man. That's a lot of slaps. It's a lot of slaps. A booby. something here or did I lose my chance did I literally lose the the, the opportunity to get the uh, item I think I did I didn't even know that, that was a possibility okay I'm gonna have to redo the whole thing you're supposed to talk to um, the bumblebee person and she's like, oh, sorry for the inconvenience here, um, have some, you know, like, laundry or some shit. It doesn't matter which one you pick. And I think, like, the, uh, the group room, you're, you're basically just, like, it's, it's either orgy or you're unconscious and you get, like, mauled by that dude. It's implied that, like, you know, Cloud just got, you know, fucked in the A. Because it is the F room, so. That shit crazy. And we can talk to this guy as well. Oh no, no, afterwards we can. Afterwards we can. Yeah, we've seen both. Let's just do this room again. Because I feel like story-wise it's better. Story-wise it's better if Clark gets fucked. <laughs> it's canon. There we go, see? And then we go back through here. Nice. She's getting a lady boner. Yeah, they all are. They're like, oh my god, he's so hot. Alright. I don't... Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Alright, I think we're good now. It's implied that like she took advantage of the sleaze balls and for the the um the kind-hearted souls, like she dropped a price. Alright. So this is how you truly make Cloud 
a sexy bitch. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't included in Garland's guide, but... So check this out. Blonde wig, silk dress, diamond tiara, sexy cologne, the makeup, the lingerie. We got it going on. We got it going on. Save. And then I think uh, we get inside. Yep. Oh yeah, my heart. My name Cloud and I'm hot. I'm hot girl. Right, we clown. It already begins. Just trying to make it jealous. Just trying to extract the information. Yeah, I'm hotter than both of you right now. What are you talking about, bitch? I'm exquisite. I'm worth it. I came to the mansion to be gapped out. I mean... I wish there was like a separate portrait for Cloud after he's dressed up. Like Pretty Cloud. Pretty Girl Cloud. Alright. Watch uh, Don Corneo take me all in. Watch him. Oh. Okay, I can't talk to these, the goons. There we go. Snatch me up. I need a room in. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, Don Cornio, yes. Yes. What I think is funny is um, you can allow Don Corneo to kiss uh, Cloud. They should they should make that an achievement. 
you know, on retro achievements. Like, make Dog Corneo Kiss Cloud. Whatever you want, Daddy. Nope. Because I'm a dude. So, oh, all right then. I hell tricked you. Hee <laughs> hee. Alright. No, 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 no. I love exposition. Yep, yep, yep. The slums are gonna get the uh, the plate uh, fall down on them and they're gonna get squished. So now it's a mad race to get back to the slums and warn them in time. Yep, yep. Sure that they'll win. Down the hole. Oh no. Ah uh, yeah. More blah blah. President Shinra had a very nice uh, meeting at the the honeybee. Yeah, he's gonna blame the uh, sabotage of the plate on Avatar. Oh no, what's he? Yeah, sorry, sorry, Tifa. Like um, this is um, I think the first instance. Oh no, no, it's it's one of the first instances where you get affection points, depending on who you pick up first. They get like more affection points. And I think the other one gets none, so. Everything counts in large amounts. Alright, let's see how we do. Wait, what? Oh no, don't talk to the girls just yet. First, enter the menu and place Cloud and Tifa in front row. They're to die in the battle anyway, so I want them to take as much battle uh, damage as possible. Aerith must be in the back row. Most importantly, place the grenades at the top of the item list. This will, sm this will make them as accessible as possible. Ah, uh, okay. Obi-Wan Skinobi. First flower after reactor, like 30 Midgar alone. Hmm. I'm not quite sure I'm picking up what you're putting out. Well, I'm doing a, uh, a low level run, so I'm just following a guide, uh, Obi-Wan. Oh yeah, the date stuff. Oh really? That's like getting the flower. Is that 30 affection points? That's a lot. Holy shit. All right, let's uh, put uh, Tifa in the back row. No, no, she's meant to be in no, the front row. Cloud is in the front row. No, 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 no. All right, we'll, we'll change this soon. We'll change this soon. Don't worry, don't worry. Tifa can you, Oh, don't leak Tifa. Oh, that's hot. All right. In the back, Aerith. Okay. And then, um, I think we can. Can we arrange? Um, no, no. 30 date decisions in Midgar. Oh. Like, there's 30 different um, ways. Well, there's 30 different points at which you can gain affection points. It's rather complicated, the dating bit. Acting lucky? No worries. Thanks for luck. Uh, grenades, so okay, I guess we're just meant to kill this thing with grenades um, and Cloud and Tifa are meant to die and Aerith is meant to get all the experience, I guess
Oh, this is this is rather hairy. But did did we um we did drop a save before um Corneo, and I can just like fast forward through that in like three minutes. So it's not a big deal. It's just like dealing with the um complexities of this battle. Have everyone throw grenades on their first three turns. Well, let's just uh, do that then. One, two, three. One. Two. One, two, three. So that's nine. The battles are already kind of messed up, but okay. Da, 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 da. After nine grenades have been thrown, have Aerith defend while Cloud and Tifa throw grenades themselves. Okay, so he'll do like a um a back tsunami or something. This will also damage him. And then he'll do another one. And hopefully by that time Tifa and Cloud are dead or something like that. I'll figure it out. Like if I don't get it this time, I'll get it next time. Right, okay, so it does, it does hurt him. Okay, is that enough to kill both Tifa and Cloud? It's close. So I just want to defend. Come on. No. 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 Potion to you, Aerith. Maybe it's like, you know, melee attack, melee attack, lick, and then the Sivit Tsunami. I hope that that's it. How aggravating. I've definitely done something wrong here. Stop touching my bitch! Look, Cloud, just kill yourself. 
Damn it. I mean, it's one way of doing the battle. At least the, the uh, XP is going to the correct, the correct person. It says here to not touch the the um the potions. Give Aerith a couple potions if she's hurt badly, but not um, don't bother reviving the others. She can make it back to sector seven on her own. Once she get there, um, party will be fully restored. Okay. Okay, okay, so they're not even saying to, um, to use the steel materia, interesting. Because, I mean, like, like, okay, this is like a very strict no materia challenge, but, um, if we were to use it to steal ethers from the, um, those dragon enemies, that can make things, like, a, a lot easier in this playthrough. So... I'll get to the um the the ghost train yard or whatever and then save and then do that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Um wish you. Um are you hurt, my lady? Mm, my lady's quite hurt. Oh okay, let's do less of that. Ocean. We actually need these. Something we look at? No. All right. Don't you tell me to go home. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if Aerith can steal like I don't know ten ten ether or something like that. That would be exquisite. Now, should I do this? Yeah, why not? Two? No. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I can also do the limit break. Give me your shit. It's a nice bit of heal. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. 
Gimme. in case. Don't wanna die. But that was pretty good. Is that it? Is there any... Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, if we can get, um, like a set of two enemies like that, that'd be good. I could also kill the enemy, but I mean, it, it, at that level, it will take quite a bit for her to pound the enemy, so... If we can get a set of two dragons, that's the ideal. And then, like, two insta-steals. Even better. Of course, if we see that special enemy, I wonder if I should go for him. Oh, okay. Insta steal? Shit. Oh no, I can't cast magic. Oh no. Give me the shit. You can't silence this woman. Or something. Oh! No! No! <laughs> I win. Thank you. Hey. Ghost hand, don't need them. They are not that valuable either. Alright. I shall heal myself in the next battle if I get too prone. Just get your ether, sir. Give me your ether. Give me the eth. Or I'll kick you in the teeth. A. Uh, this is getting a bit suspect. Getting a bit suspect. That increases what oh, by a hundred? Yeah. All right. Nice. All right. Get in there. Not yet. Fuck. Whatever. I can.
can move back though, can't I? Oh no, I can go the back way here. I push on. Usually I would just um farm ghost hands, I'd get at least two. Because this is the only place you can get ghost hands. Um Yeah. Okay. No, I really do need to uh, push it back down. Oh no, I need to get in here. There we go. Eh. My body. Uh yep. Shit. Run away. <laughs> I tried. I tried. That could have been a perfect yoink moment, but unfortunate. Now I got quite a few ethers out of that, so I'm I'm quite happy. Now apparently as I pass through the screen everyone is gonna become like a uh, fully healed. You can't bear to leave here, you're a fucking idiot then. If you heard a rumor that the plate's gonna come down, you take a vacation. Just on the off chance it does happen, you know what I mean? Yeah, Barrett's up there going. Come on, Wedge. There you go. Splat. You right? <laughs> nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine, you idiot. Thank you. I was about to say, like, don't you be taking my shit. Don't you be taking my shit. Um, what's that? Alright. Well, I can also save this area, which I'm gonna, like, take advantage of. Okay. Uh, so, we gotta throw grenades at Reno, okay. Make sure to place Cloud in back row and the others in front row, okay. Reno has 1000 HP, which means 8 grenades. Okay, so we have to make sure that um, Barrett and Tifa are not trapped within the pyramid. They're both dead by the end of the battle with Reno, and Cloud gets the XP. Okay. Okay. He's dead. Just just let him go. Oh, do I need to? Should I buy something here? I don't think I should. But maybe I could sell um some of the uh, 
the ethers. I'll sell like two ether. And I'll buy some more um grenades. I'll buy like uh I'll buy like ten more. My special place. Yeah, so this guy's talking about, okay, you should have exactly this much money, but it's like, heh <laughs> I use the, the steel to grab some ethers. <laughs> so now I'm not going to be fucked for the rest of the guide, I'm going to be like a little bit of hovering a little bit above, even if I followed the rest of the guide to the T, which I am. So I'll take off my steel material now. Dexterity plus two. says oh, thank you oh what's his face bigs Jesse, in the back? Do they need to be in the back or a cloud in the back? Right, cl clouds in the back. You guys in the front. It's the way to read all the Turks. Okay. I think you've got a little bit too much. Okay. So one grenade, two grenade. Three grenade. grenades Let's 
six, seven, eight. Oh, did I meant to do seven? Uh oh. Damn it. I think this kills him. At least we're close by. The benefits of uh, saving often. Myself. That was a good one. Yeah. Oh, it stuns me for a bit, huh? Interesting. Oof. Bonk. Come on. Bye bye, Rena. Bye bye. It's time. It's time. Bye bye. Bye bye, Rena. It's an abnormal time bomb. Time for Aerith to get slapped in the face. I think I can 
people the slums, however. Shinra. Ooh, more material. I think, like, you shouldn't press your button um, at this next prompt because you'll skip some dialogue because it, it, it auto auto clears. Sorry, this one. Yeah. Shooty bang bang. Ah, oh, my feelings. My feelings. Ah. Shooty bang bang. Sad bonk. Close to leaving Midgar now. We just gotta storm the Shinra building now. Ain't never been no one but the Shinra, damn it. And we're gonna keep going strong for another couple of hours after that as well, so. We gonna keep going strong. Maybe. What about you? I'm just gonna walk off in the opposite direction. Fuck you all. For the Cheeto. We go back for the Cheeto. Back, back for the Cheeto. The Ancients and Sephiroth. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go back for Cheeto. Nom 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 nom. Sense. Okay, now, I believe they say to, like, you don't need to revive anyone, so I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Don't revive, don't sleep at any inns before Shinra HQ. He's more than fine by himself. When you reach Sector 5, sell off your ethers. Buy, um, grenades. We bought... Something like eleven.
Okay, okay. They're saying get some more, get some more grenades. However, you need enough to buy the batteries to climb up the thing. Should we? Okay, wait, wait, wait. If we go back to Aerith's place, I want to see the cutscene. But does that mean? Even if I have to kill them off again, it's fine. I, I prefer to see the cutscene. It's a it's one of the um the best cutscenes in the game. Big house. Big house. Maybe this is sector five. Okay, it is. Okay, so they're saying to buy stuff here. say to buy like 29 sure sure why not okay Just to drop the save. Eh. I like the way that this whole scene is storyboarded. I do not know why. Sad blue blip to crescendo. Suddenly feelings happen. Do do. Oh, rain clouds. I mean, like a uh, thunder going. Uh, grrr. Grrr th gr thunder. Is my husband on the train? No. You sure? Did you check under the seat? Sad Bobby boop boop. He fell now. Did you really used to see that thing a lot during the war? People dying after, like, getting off the train? Uh, I mean... I don't know. They must have been on the run for a very long time because... Remember, uh, I think it's like Icicle Inn? That's the area. 
where they came from with uh, Professor Gast. So they've been running from that continent and they came all the way to uh, Midgar. Right in the heart of Shinra. Makes you wonder why did they come back to where the Shinra were? Return Ares to Shinra. She doesn't belong to Shinra, you dickhead. Nah, you just want to exploit it. Yeah, cooperation. Yeah, we'll, we'll just take your job. Some people, like, I think they like the character of Seng, but I think that, um, all along, I think that Seng's been, like, one of the biggest pieces of shit. Like, maybe he has some bro moments here and there, like, fucking, that was solid, bro. Thanks, thanks for the, doing this, solid. But he's still a very terrible person at heart. And let's not forget that he slapped Aerith. It was a big slap. Oh shit, here we go. Let's, let's hope so. Hey. Oh yeah, you went to Tifa. Good. <laughs> like we, we keep that shit in the low low. You know what I'm saying? We keep that shit in the low low. Because as they say, two is better than one. I wonder if they're full health, but if they are, they're easy enough to kill, so. Okay, good. I mean, it's not it's not good that they're so, like, pounded, but it's good that I don't have to do anything, like, silly to get them killed. Yeah. The guide was saying, just, just like, like, skip Aerith's house, skip all these cutscenes. I guess so, but I mean, like, why? 
enjoy the game somewhat. It's like a like a walk through a nostalgic place. Anyway, I got all the grenades. That's the shopping portion I think done with. Go to Cornio's um, mansion to get some uh, items. Right. to um, figure out what these idiots are doing. Golden shiny wire folk. Nah, let's let's not let's not do that straight away. Okay, let's go into this room. Where is it? One? Anything more in this one? No. Um... Phoenix down or what? Hyper. The hyper... Is that in Don Corneo's actual bedroom? This is actually a, an achievement. Um, first played this like back in the day. I didn't know um, that that was a thing. Yeah, interesting stuff. Okay, the the hyper must be in this room somewhere. No. Not this thing. Must be somewhere in this room then. Here we go. It's a cheap ass item, but I mean, every little bit helps. And now I gotta buy the batteries.
Can I jump over here? I guess not. Can I not? Can I jump down? Can I please get across? Will it let me? Just drop down, please. No. Is that like literally not going to allow me to? Okay, if I go up this way. been live for 420 420 <laughs> now how do they want me to approach yeah stairs okay Let's go through the front door. Barrett. No. Didn't we force NEC to uh, to walk these stairs? Like, literally walk and not run? That was fun. I enjoyed that.
I'll win these, Baron. I win these. Don't challenge me to stair race. Shit. Does that mean they're like fully ahead now? No, no, okay, good. Hmm. Where's my leg, sir? Is this where you, uh, use the R word? Feet. She's worried that uh, those boys are looking up her skirt. Fantastic. This is what Japan thinks of uh, men. Maybe this is the, the one. Yeah, here we go. Get ready for it. There we go. Do not be art hard. Stairs, eh? Like, honestly, if they were trying to make this shit authentic, like, it should be a full 60, but littered with items. That's my, my opinion. Take them out one by one. Six grenades. I'm gonna have to use a grenade out of here. I knew it. Oh. Thanks. 
have saved myself the use of one grenade. Excellente. Give me that trank. Okay. Um. Teacup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Um. Here. And what else? Right? Hey, Kaluya. How you doing? How you doing, sir? Three hours of sleep, man. You know, like, you can still have a productive day on three hours of sleep. It's just, it's not going to be a fun day. <laughs> you should, um, you should take it very easy as much as possible. You should, um, relax and be sedentary as much as possible. Maybe have like a a nice hot drink. It doesn't have to be coffee. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Like you you'll get to a point where you're like, nah. And maybe like set the alarm for two hours after. You only need like a two hour power nap. And like after that, you you'll be like, huh, huh, huh. It will completely ruin your sleep schedule, but yeah. Yes. Um I have a child's they will wake. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you could even have like a one hour power nap. Yeah. Um, so what was I gonna do? I was going to cheer you. There we go. Cheers. Um, so as you can see, we're doing the low level. Um we're going to be going for the last three Final Fantasy Seven Chivos to get the badge. Um in this low level run, I have uh, two other side objectives. One is to do the Fort Condor stuff. So I'm going to have to do that. Ah, oh, cheers to you too. Nice. Um, and I also need to visit the, the glitchy Aerith um, in her church, Disc 2. Um, that's like a well known glitch. Um, however, if you mess up and you talk to the innkeeper, in Nibelheim, during the calm flashback sequence, you ruin your chances of getting that glitch. It's it's very obscure. It's very obscure. Yeah, I mean, um, seeing Aerith in the church, I'm not sure if that's an intentional glitch or what, but yeah, Ghost Aerith. So, um, I, I personally did not know that, like, that cancels out Ghost Aerith. Um... But yeah, that was sad when I found out because I mean it's not like I could go back to disc one, you know. Oh, it is intentional? Interesting. That's so weird that talking to the innkeeper cancels it out. Yeah, it's so strange. Because I mean, like, one of the kids has a line about seeing her as a ghost. Ah. Never talked to the innkeeper. Okay, yeah. So what we're doing here is, you know, low level challenge, we're um, following a guide, we're distributing XP to who it needs uh, distributing to. And yeah, we're, we're going for three achievements. Um, specifically, if I had to show y'all, it's these three. It's this one here, David and Goliath. Complete game, no one's over level 28. Um, this is the one. And tower defense. So you have to physically do every single battle. You can't give them gil. Um, that was never stated in the objective there. That's why I messed up there. Thank you. This is a um, like a yellow, a, a bright neon yellow um, thing. So that's why the uh, the chroma keys are messing it all up. So yeah, yeah. Anyways, thanks y'all for um, hanging out, lurking. All good things. Let me get back to this guide. Okay, I'm just looking over it, seeing ahead. Okay, there is a bit. 
Okay. Like, okay, so there's a portion right now when we go up to the next floor where we have to sneak past some guards and if you mess up, it's a mandatory battle, which means experience. Um, that's not what we want. Um, we would have to do that entire climbing the stair sequence again. I don't know where the next save point is. I'm just trying to like look ahead here to see if it says that. I think we just chance it. I'm confident in my abilities. Let's do this. Okay, we're 59, we're going to 60. They're sleeping. He's got a gun on his chair. Alright. Hmm, okay. Um, LL for this doesn't seem fun. It's not fun. It's not fun, Kaluya. It's definitely not fun. Ah, I always mess it up straight away. There we go. So the first one's very forgiving, like it gives you a freebie. And the guards are very slow. Do they give me a freebie here? Yeah, they do give me a freebie. Okay. I'm gonna take the freebie. That's very unfortunate. That's a restart and that's like a five minute fast forward journey. Excellent. Excellent. I'll try to be as quick as possible, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? That's why with these low level um, things, you, you just gotta save, 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 like after like literally five minutes. You, you can't afford to lose too much progress, you know? At least this is like a bit more manageable because, yeah. I was curious about the dialogue. I got my fill of that um, before. So. Oh, we're going up. There we go. One of these um, floors has elixir near the top. So, of course, we'll make sure to grab that. Maybe this floor. Quite hard to miss. There we go. Mm. Yeah, she's she's accusing us of looking up her. Uh, she's not even wearing a skirt. They're like shorts, aren't they? Pretty sure they're shorts. That'd be very, very difficult to look up, to be honest with you. You'd really have to be trying hard. Let's get up there. Eh. 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 There we go. There we go. Come on, 
that on there. And then throw grenades. Don't bother using the braver. Oh, well, you know, get just get rid of it. Yep. That way we can save one grenade. Alright, round two. Fucking hell. Whoa, 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 can't escape? Can't, can't escape. And that was, that happened all because I just think I did la 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 and I accidentally, I didn't go directly into the, the elevator. Fucking hell. Now go do the stairs all over again. Why? Yeah. There's no reason for low level challenges to be in any set. I'm sorry. It doesn't mean like, oh, now you are the master of the game. No, it's, or, or, or even better. Like it gives you a new perspective on the game. <laughs> like, no, like calm down. It's, it's not that at all. It's it's just forcing a player to comp do another game, like another full run of the game, in order to get the badge. It's sick. It really is sick. They should be taken out of every single badge that they're currently in, and they should be reassigned to sub subsets. I mean, uh, like, it's it's a casual playthrough, don't get me wrong, it's it's like, Final Fantasy VII is not a difficult game, it really isn't. It's just, um, we already do enough to get these Retro Achievement Badges, in my opinion. The, the sets themselves are already quite comprehensive without, like, throwing in, oh yeah, let's just pop in, like, a low-level challenge. Save file editor. Uh, I mean... But then again, like, um, I'm pretty sure, like, let me, how do I show this? I can't really. Like, um, if RA developers, they had a look at your particular account and they had a look at how, at the, at the time you were able to get these, um, they would say, oh, that's not reasonable or you're using other people's save files or whatever. Like that's if you were being investigated. So I think that that sort of system is going to come in the future. There, there are going to be people where people are just going to point the finger and say, look, I think you're, you're cheating. For example, um, did you see that there's been a, um, a new superstar on uh, Retro Achievements lately? They come from Brazil and their name is Donut Ouija. And um, they got the most points in a month that I have ever seen. Ever seen. 14,000 points. The next closest was, uh, I think, Maximilian, who was number one, with 6,000. 6,000. Maximilian, number one, 6,000. Donut Ouija, who's blasting through games on first play, 14,000. Have we got a new God Gamer? on uh, Retro Achievements, or have we got another motherfucker using Taz? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He, like, I've seen some of the videos that he's posted on YouTube, and I'm like, like, first time, you're, you're breezing through Mega Man and, like, certain bosses first try? That easily? I'm sorry, my friend. No, I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> no, he... he you got me all fucked up. Like, nah. This, this, nah. So I'm pretty sure they will be investigated in the next couple months and they'll be, they'll be wiped. It's just, it's just so funny how people try to, like, game the system on retro achievements and think they can get away with it. There are, there's a lot of things in place for people to be found out. 
and for for him to to get like that many points to get that many badges in that many hard games first try so quickly it's like you, you you're, you're being extremely obvious and there's a reason why the top players they all stream on twitch they want to show people okay look we're super legit um and when we stream this stuff on online that shows you that you know our gameplay is above reproach so i mean like max and sarconius and hippo like i don't know about guinea but i assume he's he's legit like all the top players in one form or another like uh, facebook uh, or twitch or youtube they stream this shit i do not trust people that like record offline and then upload to youtube i don't because you can you can you can do a taz but uh, yeah it's not my place to to point out and and to like lead witch hunts on certain players i'm just doing my thing i just don't want to get banned off the website so you know i could get every achievement on pc on the first try but then i have been playing this game since 97 on playstation and without steam using the original installer i mean i learn new things about this game every day don't get me wrong um I know it quite well too, um, but look, low level challenges, I'm like, mm. I mean, I guess it's one way of spicing things up, like if you play the same, like if this is your favourite game, yeah you could play it 20 times, 30 times, but it, at that point you're, you're really like, okay, how can I add some spice to this, like I know every, every bit of the story, I can recite every line, I know how to kill the bosses blindfolded like if it gets to that point but you still want to play it of course you're gonna add some like heinous restrictions on it but yeah all right all right, all right. I, I gotta be serious time here serious time have my grenade this would be hell without um fast forward oh my god Bam. Grenade. One more grenade. 187. It's been a murder. Your murder. Yeah, there we go. You didn't set cursor to memory in the options. I will. Let's have a look at that now. Well, not not now. Once we get up a, a floor. Okay. So, setting me um cursor to memory. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So, for example, if I if I go down like five spaces to an item, and I click on it, um, if I have it on initial, I guess it would reset back to the very top. But if it was curse of memory, it would stay there. Ah, uh, then again, you could um, you could just move the grenades, right? So problem solved that way as well. Do I give Cloud? No, no, I give you nothing, Cloud. Mmm, I didn't know about that trick. Thank you. So, config. I remember that for next time. Customizing the buttons, that could be interesting. I always have it at recommended. Some people have it at wait. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. I wonder if there's like a big difference between auto and fixed camera angle. That way you can really save seconds on big battles for each rotation. Like if I wanted to be super safe, I would just set the um the active time uh, battle to uh, wait. 
Because then that, like... It, it... Yeah. It's just easier. But I leave it in recommended. Alright. Let's not fuck this up. Let's not fuck this up. Let's not fuck this up. Camera angle auto makes the camera pan around in battle, fixed to always get the same angle. Which is probably a good thing. Depending. Okay, just take the freebie. Just like a scrub I used to do this like it was it was automatic when I was younger this section I, n I never failed it never not once but now I'm just like fail 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 train fail 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 you fucked up you done goofed you failed it's so it's so frustrating What's even worse is that there's no there's no save point, so I have to do the stairs over and over and over and over again. I just want to go through the front door. However, I can't because that would get me experience. I hate it. But, I think after I complete this low level playthrough, which I should be able to do, I reckon, within, I want to say four streams. I want to say four streams. Four reasonably sized streams. Um, I will have clinched this badge. This badge has been a long time in the making. I finished up most of the, um, the achievements August of last year. Then I put this down because I knew that I was going to come back to it, but, you know. I thought that, you know, a bit of uh, space in between would be good. Because I don't particularly like playing Final Fantasy VII ad nauseum. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, we're not looking at you, bum bum. All the other pair of lips. Can you get upstairs now, please? Yeah. Come on. Here we go. Destroy the curtain. There we go. That's right, we need to change the, the curse to memory. Then I wonder if you could use the debug room on this version, exploit the Yuffie encounter to skip a whole chunk of the game. Yeah, you probably could. Then again, you could just load up, um, I'm guessing, you could load up a save that's right near the end, that's like, someone else that was doing like the low level save, like they just give it out to you know, for free, like, here, here. And then, like, people will get the low-level challenge that way. But I think that the way that um, people at RetroArch would, would see that is they would look at um, your past activity on your account. Like, when you logged into Final Fantasy VII last, and if, you know, the amount of time it took is, like, abnormally um, short, and then they'd probably take action. So, like... People like may think, okay, I've already got, I've got a really good workaround for this, but like you gotta be so careful, because even if you do have like a legitimate like 
A legitimate workaround that seems pretty good. You might still get pinged for something anyway. So I'd rather not. I mean, but that that does sound like a very interesting idea. Because it's it's not like it's a 100% low level. It's, as far as I know, it could be just like an any percent. Hmm. Right, right. That makes me curious, actually. So F1. Let's go into the comments for this. So this is the low level challenge. Hmm. Because I wonder. No, you're you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I just feel like, um, if I were to do that, I feel like someone would pipe up and say, "Look, this is bullshit. I I had to do like thirty hours or whatever, and this guy gets to do it in like five minutes. This isn't fair." And it, it's it, by the way, this is a hundred point achievement. These are the, the sorts of achievements that if you try to, like, um, be a bit shifty around, you can get pwned pretty quick. It's one thing to mess around on, like, two-point achievements, but the hundred ones, like, I feel like I, I'd be playing with my account if I do that. I think it would be worth, like, afterwards, I think it would be worth writing in the comments... If someone were to use the debug room to skip large portions of this challenge, does that invalidate the challenge, or should the challenge be updated to invalidate the debug run, um, the debug room? Because I could certainly see someone like uh, transporting all the way to the northern crater. Hmm. It's a very good point that you make. But anyways. Let's get back to the fan of fantasy. Fan of fantasy. And let's hope I don't fuck up again. God damn. No, no fuck ups. That's another big one. Keeping Aerith from dying. Because her level 3 and 4 uh, limit breaks are... Well, specifically her level 4 is very broken. Because I think it's a combination of her level 3s, right? It's like full invulnerability and um, full healing. Yeah. I'm not sure if the invulnerability lasts longer. I think, for example, if you use um, like her level 3 invulnerability or her level 4 um, Great Gospel, your invulnerability is still 2 rounds only. Which, you know, it's not much, but, you know, it's pretty good. Um, blah, 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 blah. Grenade. Grenade. Yeah, I really should put grenade up the top. Ooh, he hit me for a lot then. Now, if I went to the first floor, I'm pretty sure that would um, start a um, a fight immediately. Even though I'm pretty sure on the first floor there is a um, save point. But yeah. Except, wait a minute, I think they mentioned something about this in the guide. Uh, let me see here. If you're not sure you can sneak by the guards, you should take the elevator back down and save first. Oh, okay. I'll definitely do that then. <laughs> okay. There's also the Chocobo glitch that exploiting the memory allocation to glitch through the glitch through to, to Junon without going through the mountain. 
I knew that like Final Fantasy VII was glitchy, but I never delved into like the glitch world. And I I think for like a, a an early PlayStation game, it would be ripe for out of bounds glitches, wouldn't it? Like this game has some crazy shit going on. Hmm. I I've never personally explored it because I was just like you know played the game. But if you're a speedrunner, you'd be like trying to find any advantage you could to shave time off. So you'd be like fully trying to look at the exploits. Hmm. Alas, I am not a Final Fantasy VII speedrunner. I do sometimes um, hop on YouTube just to look at like uh, glitch videos because they're they're fun, you know. You can walk and dismount specific spots to end up under the terrain and pass natural barriers, skipping a lot of forced content. I mean, the only glitch that I really ever do regularly was the, you know, the airship one where you get access to Quadra Magic uh, a bit early. Well, a lot early. But, uh... Okay, they're saying... Okay, let's just go to, um... Let's go to floor one. Hopefully it's not like a mandatory battle. There should be... Is it upstairs? Okay, if you if you try to leave... Okay, it's back here, yeah, yeah. Okay, well here's um, the Turtles Paradise Flyers. We need those anyway. Um, let's just go up the stairs. I think they're up the stairs then. Is everything on the left corner? Nope, alright. Okay, we can run away from this. There we go. I don't know why we couldn't run away from the, the elevator guards. That wasn't fun. Okay, now the shop in here. Can we get anything from here? I don't think so. I mean, we can afterwards, I think. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> has to do with how it remembers the vertices you have stood on. So that's actually a thing with uh, quite a few games, isn't it? So you walk away so many paces and then go back to the space at the corner of the mountains and dismount. Walk right through to Junon and skip 30 minutes and the Turks encounter in the cave. God damn. Okay, so we can't do anything there, but I think I think there is a safe space. My safe space up top. Unless I'm mistaken. I am mistaken. Are they saying like Look, I'm pretty sure if I try to exit the um through the front door, I initiate a an unavoidable con uh, confrontation. But they're saying, oh yeah, you can you can save here. What are they talking about? I'm gonna do it. Mm. Okay, I'll save, like, not over the top of my current one, but one down. That seems safe. Here. And then I'll just go through the front door. And hopefully there's not like a forced encounter. Good. Okay, that means that we can do this particular thing much quicker. This little challenge. I was also certain that there's another Turtles Paradise. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Don't shoot me. Yeah. Oh wait, no, this level has um like can't escape um encounters, I'm pretty sure. I went up the the wrong elevator. Okay. Well I'm I'm glad I didn't get fucked up then. Alright, good. Alright. 
Come on, let's please, Aaron, please. Please, Aaron, let's just let's do this. Please, please. I mean, this one is obviously the easy one. Maybe there's like almost a, uh, an element of, um, preemptiveness to the button pushing. Well. I can't help that fucking cloud's got a big dumpy. I can't help it. I think if I go to the elevators on either side of the front wall, I don't have to just go through here. I'm curious now. I'm pretty sure that there's like, um, a uh, Tales Paradise on the third floor. No? Or are they both in the same area? Shit. So I'm gonna go down to the, the, the board. So here's two. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm I'm gaslighting myself here. Anyway, hop in the tube. Run away. There we go. Come on, Cloud. <laughs> This is try number five. Oof. It's getting rough out here. Thank you, Mewson. I was losing my mind there for a second. I was like, well, there were two in Shinra Tower. Let me just take the freebie. And run. Take the freebie. Was that so bad, Aaron? Was that so bad? Here, light no dead. Okay. I'm hurry here. Yeah. You. Yeah, I'm the what you call it. Thank you. Now, does anyone on this floor give me things? Do you give me things? No? I think, uh, no. Okay, um... Duh, 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 duh. Slums, tower, gold saucer. Slums, yep, I got the slums one. Um, tower. Right here, yep. Gold source is the next one. Right, two times Cosmo Canyon. That's the one that I'm mixing up. There's a location with two. Gotcha. And then the one in Wu Tai. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. 61. 61. 
61 is this one here. Do, 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 do. Is this the one with the, uh... Okay, 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 okay. So, this is random, but like usually it's Mako for some reason. Urban development, alright. Urban. No. B. So probably bomb. Scientific research. Research. Maybe this one? But it doesn't feel like this would be it. Sometimes it's Mako. Sometimes it is Mako. But I guess like if there's if you find a B there, it's yeah. I'm I'm prepared to not look at the others and just like go on my gut feeling with that one as well. I am Deputy Mayor. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> no it's it's random like usually it's if if there's like a an m i'm like okay i just go straight to man like mako but um and sometimes you're right it is bomb usually what you have to do no matter what is you have to visit two places just to eliminate it but i got a bit yeah Sometimes it can be the other B word, but uh, nah, I know what you mean. Right, let's, just, let's just... Oh, I didn't save. I can do the whole thing again. Yay! Don't fuck up. Over 50. That's a lot of times. I knew I overstepped. I was just trying to nudge myself into a good position. But at least the, the save um, state is like right there now, so... At least I don't, I don't have to do the, the fucking stairs again. Come on. I want to get me all the goodies so I can sell them and never use them. Yes, and buy more grenades. Yes. All grenades. Wrecked. the fuck did he see them? Whatever. 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 As soon as I got like keycard 62 I should have gone straight down to the, the front door to save it. As soon as. 
It does my time precious. We got time for this tomfoolery. Ain't got time for it. There you go. Give me key card, me, me, me. You, you walking around, you, give me. Thank you. God damn. God damn. Hey. I never have to do this again. Yay. Yay. Okay, Mayo. Okay, scientific research. Okay, hey. So I think it's going to be Mako. Urban. Let me throw that down. Let me just run it down. Do you know the tap step technique to keep random encounters low? Uh, no. No, I don't. But I'll make a note of that. Tap step. FF7. So, urban development. Let's, let's see. Plans. Plans. No. Play construction. Experimental animals. Urban. Midgard. Let's see that one. Okay, I think it's this one. If you don't walk, run, but tap single steps, the encounter rate doesn't get raised above the base percentage. You mean like, um... Like doing that with the D pad. I mean, it's one way to live. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind random cows usually. So that one was L, I think. Uh, I'll just investigate the other ones to truly eliminate it. The urban development and the, the scientific research ones are actually the worst ones to try, I think. I think these two rooms are the best ones. The longer you hold the button down, the more likely you get encounters. Ah, okay, so if you walk like this... Then you you reduce um, your chances, or your chances of getting an encounter are, are like naturally lower. That's fucking wild. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, this one was, um, peace and weapons, right? So anything to do with space probably shouldn't be in there. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, so... Spaces count, I believe. So... 
Six, seven, thirteen. M. No, I'm sorry. It's seventeen. Okay, so six, seven to make thirteen, fifteen. I. K L I. But do we count spaces? Interesting. Maya Domino will give you an Alexa if you guess the password on the second attempt. But I don't want the second attempt. Because you, you want... Naturally, I want the elemental materia, but materia doesn't matter on this low level run. So, it, the guide saying, yeah, yeah just get, get the elixir. But I refuse. I don't want to use the elixir. I mean, whatever. It's, okay, wait. Space? Yeah. Modern history, yeah, yeah, yeah. Planet movement, yeah, yeah. Space mission. That's a G, right? Okay, in my opinion, the word is king. That's my opinion. I got um, the second one messed up, so it's not L, it must be an N. Alright. Come on, Domino. Yeah, yeah, watch them documents yet. Lovely. King. Hey, baby. The trick is, you mean for tap stepping? It just looks like he's <laughs> needs to go to the toilet. Walk up to the upper right room, go to the middle shelf and check the book far left. Four possibilities. Okay. Middle shelf, book far left. That's interesting. That's interesting. Maybe, like, they've made a note of, um, every combination like if it's like you know one of those uh, six words and they've like noted every thing that's possibly different and so they're saying okay this particular one has the most chance of being like out of place and if it's if it's this book then it's definitely one of these four that's 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 quite uh that's quite useful so i'm guessing um speed runners will use that trick they'll go immediately to that room because they'll want to get the elemental material, maybe. In any case, it's interesting. Red heading. Okay, uh, so... We can do this. Three times, yep, yep, yep. Air conditioning, no worries, we're gonna be right up in there. Now from memory, it is the very top one here. And then you. We hop in here, we get this. We hop in the dark. Hell yeah. Last one by going in this door here. Yay. Yeah. 
deal. So, is any of this even useful? Do they say, does the guide say to put this? Hmm. This is kind of weird. So let me let me show you this, and anyone else that's in in the chat. So it's specific to I think Maya Domino. You can use a trick, a save trick. Okay, first talk to him. Don't talk to him again until he stops to talking the first time. Instead, take the ladder back down to the first floor and save, then head back up and guess the password. Or, oh, I see, I see. Now that, that makes perfect sense. So basically, it's like save scumming. Yeah, that's fine. Get the items so we can sell them. Okay. Get some sleep. Equip Cloud with four slots, armor, and star pendant. All right, we'll do that right now. We'll do that mm, right now. Oof. And then we'll move him into the back row. No, he's already in the back row. Thief is in the front row already. Too bad you're doing the low level challenge. Can't master all. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, you could. You could. I just have to have it equipped. But then again, I would never get enough um, AP to level up to its its master. Yeah, that's that's quite sad. But then what would I do? Like, I'd buy, like, 99 grenades, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Any hoosin. Um... It's telling me to go up to the next floor, I think, so... Let me just do that. Uh, 64. There are some items on the 64th floor, but it's important to get some sleep, it said. I think I can get something inside these, right? If I bash them. Oh. No. That's if I have to pay money. I think there's something I can snatch from in here? There are some lockers that are open. That's uh, Kate Sith's ultimate weapon. Damn. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's not that's not an insignificant item. Because we can sell the uh, ethers for 750. Which is why I farmed a few of those dragons before we left. Um the, the ghost uh, train station. Train yard, whatever they want to call it. Alright, they oh, we can also get some rest. Now I'm assuming that this will only give cloud. No. Alright, fair enough. The game's probably got something in mind, so I'll trust the strategy. Okay. Now, after that... Proceed until you reach the save point on the 67th floor. Tifa in front, out in the back. Yep. 
Did you run into and steal the strike staff? Yes, I did. I thought, you know, since I'm here and stealing some shit, why can't I just, like, steal the striking stuff? Because, like, you know, of course I had to be careful. I didn't want to spend, like, potion after potion healing Ares, but I thought, like, if I could, like, grab it within, like, three or four turns, like, that'd be good, wouldn't it? And I did. I got it on my third try, and I was like, fuck yeah, I'm out of here. That was some good shit. I think... No. Out of order. You can't go poopy here? Okay. Okay. Can I talk to any of the managers and will they give me anything? You need a spot, bruh? You need a spot? Has security? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. I'm starting to worry about my belly. Come on. Come on. Feel free to use it. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, I don't let's hurry on. Anything from here? I know, right? They got the best stamina. They got the best stammy. They go to the gym on the 64th floor and they get that stammy boost. 65. Oh, yes, the puzzle. Now this one, I swear on God, there is like a way to orally detect where the next box is. Like it's, um, and I think that they did it deliberately. And I don't think I'm a crackpot. So we need to get, like, the, the things. Let's try and this... Locked. Locked. Okay. Run away from all encounters. Top left. Maybe middle left. Maybe middle left. Run away. Run away. I think you can get some good things from those. Um, I think you get, uh, what are they called? light curtain and you can dupe them later it's quite a useful item there you go it was left side okay let's try this again i'm not crazy i'm not crazy i'm just a little man I think left. The top left one. Yep. Oh, cool. I'm gonna go back and like have rest. Damn it. I, s I swear. Damn it. Maybe my theory is debunked. Maybe my theory is debunked. I feel sad now. There's probably a particular order to this. That is automatic. I feel, I feel dumb. Maybe 
through the stairs. She. I wonder if that's random or not. If it was random, that'd be very interesting. In addition to the Moth Slasher, yep, the Carbon Bangle, yep. And the incredibly effective uh, Carbon Bangle Armor, featuring three Materia slots and over 50% high defense. It holds, you can steal, and yeah, the Hard Edge from the uh, Third Guard, yep. I'm wondering though if, if the guides like, yeah, yeah, do that, or if they just... Okay, this should be the key card over here. I totally agree with you though. Plus I can always go upstairs uh, to 64 to have a rest. So, let's go up to 66, see what's happening there. All right, all right, it's, it's like where they have their big meeting. This is true. Getting the carbon bangle, I think, would be um, very nice. Executive meaning, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think I get arrested here, so maybe you're right. I think maybe I should try to farm this now. But where would I farm it? Where would I farm it? 64th floor? Sixty-fifth. Hmm. Yep. We. Do these guys have anything? I have to kill one. In order to run away. Sixty-seven. Oh, okay. Oh wait, I can. I can. I can't escape. Oh, I see why. All right. Uh, could you not? Come on. Where's the other one? Highly risky. Let's get out of here. I'm going back to the 64th floor to get some rest in. Because, um, I need them at full strength if they're going to be stealing. Because they're going to be taking some punishment. So, Moth Slash is 65. Thank you, Mew. Meow. Stinky. Yada. Look at the Nayo. Oh, Korimo Erna Yada. Achike o my. Yada yo. Stinky. Could we, like, um, get some moth slashes going? Whoa, 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 moth sl no, 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 the moth slasher is like on like a, like a, a ball, like a rotating ball. I was mixing up the hammer blaster with one of them. Run away. 
Not one single Mod Slasher. What is going on here? Attack. the pincer attack. In fact, I'm gonna get some rest. Get some like uh carbon bangles going, yeah, bruh. Carbon bangle, hey, 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 no. Level sixty-five. Moth mm. slasher, Shinra. Where you at, moth slasher? Encounters are right. mm, According to this, the on on floor sixty five, you can only find hammer blasters or sword dance. On sixty seven, you can find moth slashes. Yeah. So we're going to. Yeah, we're going to go to sixty seven. Watch this. So we gotta deal with the other uh, the corporate scene first. All right, so they're all in the corporate building. We gotta go into the toilet. Yada yada. Blush? Hell no. something to eat on the way back. Oh, I want to flush it. Yeah, we don't need to see this. Bubble wee boo. So if you raise the raise the prices, people lose confidence. I don't give a fuck. This is most corporate uh, corporations. Hojo, you can suck a dick. Hit you, Hojo. Just talking about you, Tifa. Cloud's bum hole smells very clean. I'm just saying. Don't ask me how I know. I just know. Okay, and now as to not arouse sus suspicion, now you flush. That's a good espionage right there. Now we follow Hojo. 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 And then we go back to 64 because we want to get a rest and to save. Because low level challenge is a son of a bitch. Uh, 
you. Excellent. Excellent. So like you're you're in soldier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been to the Shinra building? No. Do you recognize their most prominent scientist? Never seen him before in my life. Clap. You're a fucking liar. You lying, lying some bitch. Here we go. Give me. Give me what I want. 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 That really hurt my peanuts, don't do that, don't do that. Can we please stop bashing on the women, please, sir? Sir. Please desist from hurting females. Stop. Stop it. Give me your carbon bangle. Obey my dog. I think if we have a rest, they get revived anyway. Because they revive from, um... Yeah, so if they die... Yeah. If they die, hmm. Can I please? Can I please? Can I please have my bangy? Give me my bangy. Give me my bangy. Oh, he's resilient. He's holding out. Slightly better. Okay. Goddamn. Give, give, give Bangle, give. How dare you make me work this hard <laughs> to get the fucking Bangle. You metal monstrosity. Oh yeah. Tiff is about to go for a dirt nap. Good night, Tifa. Bye bye. I've got a prior appointment. I gotta go now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh. Nope. This might be quicker just to go down here like that. Hey yo. <laughs> we definitely want in my opinion we want to get carbon bangles for everyone because for at least a long time I don't actually do we have access to like um, Shinra Beta Was it, it, Shinra Alpha is the best one then, then you got Shinra Beta I think Shinra Beta is when you're on the, the ship from Junon 
yeah but until that point i think the best one you can get is the carbon bangle so i might get like seven seven of them some bitches equip the all material i'm not allowed to ma use magic though so technically i mean I, I guess i could i guess i i guess i could like i could wield all the material like there's nothing in this achievement that says no material it's just in the guide that i'm following Yeah, okay. In that case, wait, let me back it up. This is true. This is true. There is no point in not using... Because there's, there's nothing in the challenge that says you, I have to. And I don't think it really affects... Um, leveling up or experience gain, or does it? I don't think it affects experience gain, right? I could be wrong, but anyway, that's a save. Oh, and Keeper's got it. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I sold because at the at the time I was following the guide completely. So I sold my ice material. I sold my lightning material. Yeah. It's tragic. But what I could do is I could um steal a few ethers from um certain enemies, sell them, and then buy the material. Hmm. Or we could just like farm a few more um, carbon bangles. I don't know. I could do that. I could farm a few more carbon bangles. Nothing. Nothing. Uh oh. Could we, like, not kill Keeper? Could that be something we not do? God damn it. The reason why, one of the reasons why I also put it on Cloud was because he's able to resist, he's able to tank more damage, and he's got a higher HP, because none of these these bastards can be leveled up. So under under most usual circumstances, I would agree Tifa. I think she has higher Dex, which influences like stealing, but at the moment, like especially when they target her like this, it's like oh. Just keep going for Barrett. Damn it. Uh, she's on the front line. If she was in the back line, I think that also affects stealing, doesn't it? And she did. What's the, uh, the difference in stats? Dex 13 compared to 11. Okay, it's like a difference of 2. It's just that she's, she does get her ass whooped.
Oh yeah. But rather than use an item, which are few and far between, I would prefer... Okay, it's probably better if I just take on one at a time. One at a time is better than two. Slasher. Come on. Shit. Give me another carbon bangle, please. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, I mean, I could, because I do have a Trank, I just don't want to use them, because um, I'm not... Oh, I don't have a Trank, actually. Yeah, if you have, you know, Hyper... Like, you can actually, um, if you use uh, Tranquilizer too much, you turn sad. If you lose Hyper too much, you go to Fury. It's an interesting mechanic. Um, I feel like you shouldn't be able to force yourself to go into Hyper, but yeah. Not only that, the fact that you can get like bonuses to um, defense, like you mentioned. Yeah. Exploitable. Anyways, let's put this on our boy Cloud. Oh no, they say in the guide it says to put the. Um... But this is better, isn't it? Like, what? Okay, four slots. This is. This is objectively better. Right, attack stat changes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I'm gonna have a... Am I? Yeah. Because I, I don't want to use uh, items to uh, cure myself. I'll just take the freebies, thank you very much. I definitely think um, taking on the moth enemies, um, moth slasher, just like one of them, that's the way to go. It's too much of a crapshoot otherwise. This thing doesn't give me jack shit. I think, can I get them on this floor? Yeah, I can. Yeah. A 15 out of 64% chance. But the only combination we can get them in is in like a two time combination. So what I'll probably do is I'll maybe kill one and then uh, steal from the other and then run away. That way, Okay, yep, yeah, good. So I'll use the sense. Oh, I guess, uh, okay. Well, Barrett can use big shot on you. You did? He's gonna be asleep soon. Tifa's one is like for a random enemy, so I don't like using it. Bolt 2, god damn. Cloud. Garbage ass idiot. Mm. 
Le chop. All right, good. Oh, that's a lot of. That's a lot. It's 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 a lot like life. I'm running away. Oh, no, okay. Because he, he one hit kill me with the, the flying sickle. No. Uh, I, uh, I'll try one more. One more. Cloud. Here you are, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, please don't run into any enemies. I'm on death's door. Literally on death's door. Don't. No. No. Don't touch. Don't touch me. Okay, there's no enemies here. Okay. Hell yeah, Tifa comes through. Get that hot edge, baby. That's nice. I think um we also unequipped a materia. Alright. Steel elemental or put on you. I forgot to say, but it's fine. Because we're going for more carbon bangles. Does the force slot do anything though? Oh, I mean for now. Right. I mean, it's magic defense that I guess is pretty good. Compared to like, yeah. So, back row for you, but not for you. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So, I do want to get the carbon bangle for like, I want to get seven of them, because um, we can get Yuffie as well. So, that's uh, four characters Aerith, five, Red. 13, 6. It's about 6 or 7 characters. Magic defense used to be broken, didn't do anything. Oh, um, this is the original version, so yeah, it's broken, probably. Oh, um, does she already have one on her? Or something better? She might have a carbon bangle on her. I can't remember what her initial equipment is. Oh, I see. So, defend, defend. Steal. Steal. Stop going just for Tifa, goddammit. Oh, but she's in the front row. Because she's trying to steal. Her limit breaks. Hmm, looks like uh, Tifa's getting her head kicked in. Bye bye. Goodbye. Thank you for your time. Bye bye. Goodbye. That carbon bangle. Oh, baby. Oh. Looking icy, King. 
What the fuck do with that carbon bangle? Go for rest. Ba, 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 ba. And getting a hard edge as well. Hell yeah. Being safe here. Very nice. If only I didn't get rid of the lightning and ice material. Because you're right, every little bit will help. Because this is not a uh, no uh, material low level run, it's just a low level. Every little bit of magic AP will help me. Because, like, I sold them for, like, practically nothing. If they've got no AP on them, you sit, you sell them for zero gil. And I was like, I was looking at the guide and I'm like, why am I selling this shit? Is it because it's the no material? It's probably because it was the no material. Need to do what you can for that defensive strat. Exactly. Give me a bangle, give me a bangle, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me a bangle, give me a bangle, give me, give me, give me, give me. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Thank you, um, I'll kill you. I kill you. Kill you. And I kill you. Bye bye. Give me your bangle. Give me your bangle. Expose your bangle to me. Present your bangles. No, I didn't. I'll, I'll change it. I'll change it after this battle. This is true. Give me a bangle. Give me a bangle. Give, give, give. Cheeky little. I'm just trying to steal items off your body. Allow me to pickpocket you. You breastfed ape. Come on. Ugh. Can we not target Tifa, please? Yeah, target target Cloud. I don't care about him. Barrett too. Well, the dream is over. <laughs> We tried. Barrett, please get out of there. Your big lug. So. Still need, um... Do I have one in my inventory? Yeah. 
So I want two more, don't I? Yep. Let's go. First off, first off, steal. Shit. I kind of want to blast him, but at the same time, I don't really like crit him. Because a, a crit limit break would probably kill anything at this stage. Even at this low level. Against stealing. Damn it. Cosmo Canyon? All the way up to there. Holy shit, that's nice. Lodgy like. Please don't target Tifa. We've talked about this. Don't target. Don't target Tifa. No. Tifa, bad touch. Good work then, girl. Good work. We'll leave you for dead. <laughs> we'll leave you for dead in the middle of the, middle of the battlefield. Just need one more bangle. And really, um, the only two characters that we don't really have access to would be um, Vincent and Sid, I think. What am I doing here? I mean, like, why, why am I trying to go? Yeah. It will last until Mount Nebel. Wow. Oh, because there you can get like, what, the diamond something or other from a particular enemy near the, uh, the reactor, I believe. Oh, of course, the dragon amulets. Right, um, just before the material keeper you can get like, uh, dragon amulets. That's right. And they're good for like a very long time. Oh, sorry, gold bangle. Right, right, right. I'm getting mixed up because, like, there's a later level dragon that has a dragon amulet. I think that's, like, near the, the ice school village or something, something like that.
Oof. There we go. Um, kill him. Uh, let's hope this hits the intended target. Yep. Good. What are the chances of getting a carbon bangle out of this one? I reckon he kills Tifa before she has a chance. I reckon... Give me my bangy. Give me the bangy. Please. Please give me my bangy. With my 13 decks. <laughs> my level 6, my, my fucking 13 decks. Ooh, and you did. now have three in reserve they're all wearing it so okay let me let me write down all the characters so you've got um cloud Tifa, barrett um eight sith yuffie vincent Sid, Aries, and uh, Nanaki. I believe there is only nine characters. Now, the ones that we have like immediate access to, it's like I said, like we can't get Sid until much later, and it's the same with um, Vincent. I think we get Kate Sutha Gold Saucer, which is still a, a fair ways off. So Cloud, Tifa, Barrett, Yuffie, Ares, and and Yuffie's already got one. So yeah, we'll keep it at six. I really care about selling extras. It's fine. We'll just get this uh this rest in and this save in. So I've got maybe one over, perhaps. Let's change the order. Does what do they want the order for me? Being... Tifa in front. I think that they want um they want Cloud to get up. Let's see. Okay, they want Cloud to be the one that absorbs the experience here, so... They want... Cloud in the back... I shall go to config and do memory... Okay... And we'll save with, say, um, with this... Well, I've got six now, so six should do it. Alright. Ready to go. Man, that head of security is still working hard. What a beast.
Okay. Um. Genova time. <laughs> oh, my precious specimen. I wonder how um, he got caught in the first place. I wonder if that's ever explained in Final Fantasy War. Like, not, not fan fiction, but like actual lore. Probably isn't. I don't know. Titties with no head. Where are the nipples? Where are the nipples? Where are the nipples? <laughs> Titties have nipples. It's gonna be. And then he sits up and he's like, oh, don't worry, I'm fine. Damn, titties wear a nipple. <laughs> Miss his fucking head. This is stupid. No, you're stupid, Barrett. Whoop. Is this the one where we get like the, the weird enemies yet? Ah, uh, no, okay. Do I want extra hard edges? Do they sell for a lot of money? Do they sell for a lot of money? Ba ba bi bo bo. Hmm. Its value is fifteen hundred gil. Oh, it can be purchased for fifteen hundred in Gongaga. It's Cloud's strongest weapon until reaching Cosmic Canyon. Well, it's a good thing I picked it up. I mean, I, you know, I always was, seeing as though I could use the steel material, so. Ah, so in, in the low level challenge, no material, that also means no stealing. Yeah, that, that'd be way tougher. That wouldn't be, that, I don't find shit like that fun. That's not fun. Yeah, we're not sticking around for this. Now, I think here we get a poison material. Yes. Yes. I think this will half poison, but I mean... You don't really want to half poison, you just you don't want to be affected by it. But, you know, it's still better than nothing. Alright, um... Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to drop another save. It's actually a good thing that um, Tifa got tagged by the uh, the soldier. Then we'll just make this next bit a little bit easier. Hmm. 
bring in the specimen. Think this is I'm watching uh, some bestiality yes yeah all right stand back shoot the fucking shit out of it get wrecked Hojo Can you steal anything off this thing? I don't think so. I'd like to make sure though. If it's got something nice, I, I want to grab that sheet. to different areas or Barrett and yeah Barrett oh. I shall call you fart dick if this would work then why don't I have a cat girl as my cat is my girlfriend yet I'm not sure I'm not sure But if, uh, if art can imitate life, then, you know, maybe one day we can breed pack girls. Hmm. I shall call you... Nanaki, because I always call you Nanaki. It's all about chucking grenades. Nanaki and Tifa die, and Cloud gets all the XP. Ten grenades. One. Two. And I'm gonna see if I can steal. I think everybody did after their first playthrough. Respect Nanaki and undo Hojo's renaming. Yeah. That was basically what happened with me. Alright, he's got nothing. Third grenade. That um, curse being set to memory really does help a lot. say that's like five or six okay uh. Uh. item we'll do like one more T for grenade all right good Please defend. Yep. 
we'll sends him out. Oh, that was okay. That was a good estimate. Please kill the dog. Please kill the dog. Please kill the dog. Not me. Thank you. Giving that a big chop. Big chop. cat. Just roll with it. I'm a dog cat. Beep boop. Bam beep boop beep boop beep boop. Bam bing boom boom boom. Bam beep boop 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 boop. Okay, what does it want me to do now? Form a party of Cloud, Aerith and Barret after the battle because I've killed the other two? Give the um, the four slot armor. Who cares? And the star pendant to Aerith. Don't bother healing anyone. All right. Okay. So um, Tiger Wolf. Cancel button. To change party. Tiger Wolf. Bang, 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 bang. Then menu. Then, and then, get that off, carbon bangle and striking stuff, ooh baby, yep, alright, so we've done that, let's um, exchange some uh, material now, no, see if we can have it all, I guess so, nah, let's, let's, let's switch it over, Oh, it's got sense. No common sense, but he's got the sense material. Uh, Note, you need a calculator for this battle. Oh joy. What the fuck? You need a calculator for this battle. I like the sound of that. Twelve, thirteen. Okay, so Aerith does, um, and she has the um, the steel on. So, Oop. okay, so um, Tifa and um, Nanaki died, and what they're saying is form a party of Cloud, Aerith, and Barrett. And I'm like, okay, so the other party is like just dead. If, if all this fucks up, we can just go back to a previous save. So I think that's fine. Oh, that's right. We, we get captured, don't we? <laughs> yeah, they may prevent XP going to them while out of party. Oh, enemy skill. Oh. Can you learn enemy skill if you don't kill the enemy? I don't think so, right? I think, like, you can have it, like, the enemy skill performed on you, but if you run away, I don't think it holds. I guess we will test that. 
You can? Okay, so, okay. That's good, that's good. That's really good. Alright, so. Um, who's gonna put the enemy skill on? Uh, Barrett. You can have some importance. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, I just find the two portions. I harass this guy, gives me a key card. And then he runs away. Nothing up that end, I don't think. No, oh, I'm going to get down. Two more potions. Nice. Do I save? I feel like I want to save. Because you never know when the game will screw me over. You never know. personally enjoyed the thrill. There ain't no way these two idiots are arresting us. Now that we've got Aerith back and everything, like, there's no reason for us to be captured. We should be been able to, like, ream them. Or whatever. Whatever. Hell yeah, I'm brave. Hell yeah. Wonder how my girl doing. Oh. Oh. My secrets. My secrets. Promised land. The plant says, What's that? Best thing. At least he's trying to go over the, the, the plot in his head. <laughs> grandpa, Grandpa, ooh. He really loves his grandpa. Tifa. Mm-hmm. 
how would you get in? Three guesses. Still having to go go to luck? No. Good old talk, yeah. Don't get caught by the Shinra. Yeah, alright. Right. Okay, so it's just us. Best party. Oh, I do. I... Best equipment, everyone. A talisman. My spirituality go high. Uh, let's just go. Oh, run away. No, oh, he doesn't want to talk to us anymore. That's fine. He's having a sleep. Ooh, this guy's having a big sleep. Oh, big sleep. Um, uh, let's let's just sleep. Always safer to do that than to get screwed. Scratchies on the wall. Little screech. Ah, sixty ninth floor. Nope, don't touch. Okay, that's about it. Oh no, the Shinra president. Oh no. He died. He's got a matchstick in his back. the promised land. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's about to do both. I think it gives me the ability to change party or something here. <laughs> I'm from the avalanche. I'm from the slums. I'm a dog. Woof. Okay. Well, I'm Carrot Top.
<laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, Cloud? This is the real crisis of the planet. What are you fucking talking about, you absolute dongus? This is your midlife crisis? This is... This is the real crisis. What, the fact that, like, the, the Shinra president died? Um... Because I can just, um... Exchange it. Okay, so Nanaki's got, like, dumped. Okay. And so did Barrett's. Okay. Okay. So Barrett... Well, Cloud doesn't need no stinking, um... Yeah, he doesn't need anything. So Aerith... Let's switch that around. Put that there with fire. Lovely. Poison everyone, yeah. Let's do that. And all can go here, I guess. And you can sense... I don't know, something like that. Don't lie like it. Okay, lovely. We really don't have a lot of material, do we? Just proceed to get to the store and to can control Aerith after talking to Rufus. Now place Eris in back row and others in front row before you enter the elevator. Okay, so Eris in back row and the other two in front. Okay. Okay, Eris should have the star pendant, so she's immune from poison. She can still get put to sleep with bullets, probably. Um, everyone else is like throwing grenades. You will most likely have to heal in this battle, but don't use any potions. One healing wind should be enough. If you're lucky, you won't have to heal at all. When you reduce Heli's HP, so that's the second form of this boss, to below 250, its defense will increase. And grenades won't deal more than 125 damage, so make sure he's got less than 120 when you have Aerith throw the last one. Okay, so we want Aerith to absorb the XP and we want um, Manaki and Barrett to be dead before the end of the battle. Okay, we got it. Can I save? I can. I can. I think. I think. I think. No. Okay. I want to get to that. Okay. We dropped a save that was fairly recent, so I'm not too concerned. I'm not too concerned. Does one of them have, um, sense? No, okay, so we need to exchange one off our crowd. Yeah, sorry, Cloud. And Barrett can have it. I need to quickly go to the toilet. So, I'm just gonna quickly put this in a, like a pause screen here and uh i will be right back it's true i will that massage cool i really did need to take care of that toilet situation as fast as possible if you if, if you know what i'm saying uh <laughs> 
let's uh, begin this battle. Okay. I don't need no save. Bing, you did. So what is the sitcho here? Can I like use limit breaks during this battle? Or is it like nah nah just you just stick with grenades? Why does it say like use a calculator? Oh. They don't have the um the opportunity to use sense. But I do. But I do. Ha ha ha. Main. Big shot. Um. Grenaded. Uh, wait, wait, wait. That healing wind, lovely. This is working out well. Okay. Now where's the other one? Okay, we'll sense that. Don't have Aerith. Thank you. That's good. This all works out. I think it works out. Hmm. Maybe this works out. Maybe this works out. I don't care what the guide says, I'm using a potion. I'm trying to guarantee this shit. Fantastic. 
Luckily, I foresaw the shenanigans. What what I what I didn't realize was like, I thought that the second um, phase didn't have as much uh, HP, so I was like, oh, okay, I can get the dregs, but I should have just kept um, pummeling him. Oh well. Um. Yeah. Yep, leads up my bum. Yep. Through here. Here. Let me just use the safe state here. I think that's all fine. On you and a sense on you. Do, 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 do. Then we'll save. Can I talk to him. Can I talk to him. Oh no, prisoner dead, oh no. Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Ba 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 ba. This is the real crisis of the planet. Alright, easy. Uh, leave as is. Do you got any? I mean... It doesn't matter, I guess. Man, not having a restore? Oof. Big oof. Ding dong. for days boys just keep throwing grenades just don't stop
even going a little bit longer. Let's keep throwing that garbage at him. Nice. Defend Ares. Slip Fang. Grenade. Limb Breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now. One, seven, three. You can survive that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Because it's, uh, defense goes up. Don't go for, uh, Aerith, please. Awesome. Like the guide says to put on the mithril armlet, but like we've been stealing like carbon bang with Ribby. We ain't about that life. And what should we equip him with? We should equip him with as much um, material as we can just to get the AP. So let's, uh, let's do some exchanging. Because you bad man, that's right. Sephiroth is not an ancient idiot. Don't attack Dark Nation. Four grenades at Rufus and the battle's over. Can I steal anything from his, his biatch? Okay. Pretty good double whammy, boys. Oh, and you're out of here. Sixty-nine, nice.
Hey, does it tell me to uh, do anything special after this? Heal Cloud if he's badly hurt. In case you should um, run into a battle on your way to the save point. Next up is the motorcycle minigame. But you get the chance to form a party and open up the menu before it starts. Okay, uh, I think... Uh, we'll get to the save point. Oh, I think we can examine the, um, the thing. Can we? It's not. Maybe when you first see him dead, maybe you can, but I don't know. Save here. Okay. Right. <laughs> I mean, if it's cursed, we'll know if it's cursed. Can I get the items in here yet? Or do I have to wait until the raid on Midgar? I think I have to wait. Do I need to just walk out the front door? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. Sound right. Here we go. This is such a dodgy cut scene, but I mean, like it's it's a classic for a reason. I like the music too. Tifa. <laughs> now that's a bike. That's a good bike. Um, 
menu. I can also form a party. I think it wants me to form a particular party. Cloud and the girls, and make sure to place them all in front row. Okay. Just in case I can't get to everyone. party. Oh. I'm getting my Xbox controller buttons confused with a uh, PlayStation. There we go. Material, but you know it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, and then uh, let's do this uh, little mini game. Perfect, but I fucked them up. Do 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 do. calculator for this spell. No, you don't. You just need sense material. <laughs> this is if like you're doing um, uh, no material and you, you can't use sense, obviously. Okay, so let me just read ahead. Oh, let's read. Let's read together, shall we? <clears throat> 
So basically, grenades, 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 grenades. Who do we want to give the experience to? Okay, kill Cloud and Tifa and make Aerith get the uh, experience. Okay, and then at the end of the battle, make sure that her HP is above 210, because I guess he does like a, a, a final attack. Alright. We, we got it. Mm hmm. We got this. I don't think the same thing that can be stolen. Limit. Oh, what am I doing? Sense. Grenades. Healing wind. Aoi, my bum hole. Wa wa wee wa. Fire. I wonder if fire does more than a, a grenade. Nope. <laughs> Is that like a similar thing to the the scorpion boss? Must be. He'll never live up to the level of Professor Ghost. Yes. Um, attack. We're only halfway down, okay. Hmm. Okay, maybe. Yeah, 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 you wanna do that attack? Right, right, right. Will this give me to my limit break? No, but we'll get clouds to his. How much? 400. Mm, okay. Mm, cloud. Uh, let's, let's have like a high potion. Aerith. I don't want Earth to die. He's got she, everyone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna die. Oh no. Okay, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Grenade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just kill everyone. Kill everyone. Yeah. yeah. Kill, 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 kill. Uh oh. 
Are you gonna do your um, naughty thing again? Yep. My butthole. My butthole. Okay. And I will throw a grenade and I will win and hardy ha ha fuck you. Bitch. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I'll take it. I'll take it. She has to be above what? 210? Yeah, more than 210. Oh, what's that? A double attack? Awesome. Okay, well, I, I, I've i done what I've done now, and now you're only kicking with the final attack. And then she's dead. No? Okay, good. 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 He got cross slash, even though he's dead. That's pretty good, Cloud. You should be good. But you're probably not going to get to level 2 because you probably have to kill a certain amount of enemies. Which is going to be impossible with a low level challenge. So. Cool. Neat. What do we do now? We jump off this bridge and it's game over. About many things, yes. <laughs> Who said you can come? Just invite yourself along. Man. Right. Uh, okay, they don't say, like, um, if there's a particular um, group to take to calm, so I'm just going to take the best team. 209 full damage dropping down. <laughs> exactly, right? Tifa's like, uh... And my kneecap. Shoot out the side of her legs. Right. You hear Trevor? Sure. Hey, girl. You worried? Hell yeah. I should protect you. Ooh. -oo. Yeah, she should be. Alright. Let's go! Oh, hell no. You're not the leader of anyone, Barrett. Shut your ass up. That's exactly it, Eris. Thank you. Northeast. Gotcha. Hmm, I wonder what party Cloud will choose. I wonder what Cloud will choose. He knows. He knows. He knows all about my ways. My shifty ways. Oh, we're out of Midgar. Fuck. Alright, first things first, let's try and get Matra Magic from the um, Custom Sweeper. As well as, don't they have Atomic Scissors that we can steal? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Oh, that's right. Let me just get some uh, emotes going. Uh, non mod settings. Better TV. I forgot to eat. Enable that. Da, 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 da. 
So basically, this is me after leaving Midgar. Where is it? Where are you? There we are. Hell yeah. That's me after leaving. I'm like, hell yeah. Let's get out of this fucking slum. Um... This one. Okay, so Cloud, T for Aerith, okay, who's got the materia? Okay, you but there just for now. Sure. Steel on Tifa? No. It's it's all messed up, but we we're gonna get some materia soon, I'm pretty sure. Um yeah. Tifa has 14 decks. Okay. Where are you, Custom Sweeper? Gimme. Oh, nope. Get out of my life. No. Such fucking weird enemies. There we go. Maybe worth it's worth killing one. Maybe it's worth killing one. They're really wailing on her. I kind of need her to stay alive. Oh my god. They fully just whooped on Tifa. Not Rowan. Run away. But now what? But now what? I don't have any way to kind of heal her quickly. I am sorry, Tifa, but even though you're the best at stealing, you're also seemingly the best at dying. So... I didn't even get fucking Matra Magic out of that. Bastard. Kill. 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 We just need one of them alive. I think it's atomic scissors for Barrett. From from memory. Can we not? Can we not do that over and over again? Okay. My healing wind. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, Tifa. Okay, so... Barrett, where are you? We only get the PHS telephone when we get to calm. But I'll save here. Beautiful.
star pinlet. Who wants to wear it? Who wants to be the star? Oh. Is there an extra one? Okay. Okay. It's quite close, isn't it? Okay, calm, and okay, there are items to pick up in calm, but okay. Yep, we've reached calm. Yep, everyone's in the inn, but we're not going in. Not just yet. There should be three ethers in calm altogether, along with a guard source, a mega elixir, and the peacemaker. Yeah, maybe, kid. Maybe. Letting his dog out of the cupboard here. That's 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 actual neglect. What are you thinking? Disgusting. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. That's two out of three ethers that we can get. Curve swords. Okay, peacemaker should be up here. Vincent's weapon, which I'm not gonna be able to give him for a while. And by the time he gets that, I think he gets a better weapon. So it's like, wow, that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna be the soldier. God souls, thank you. Got nothing else here, kid? No? Okay. Okay. What is that Megalix letter? That's pretty tasty. Megalix, sir. That's the last of the ethers, and maybe it's in here. <laughs> Is it true they made a monster? Yeah. Well, what can you do? <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Oh, we'll be coming back to you on disc three. Yes, yes. To get the underwater material along with some other shit. It's either in here or in one of the places up there. Incredible deduction skills, Aaron. Stay out of the kitchen, alright. Calm down. I'm just trying to get a toasted sandwich. And that castle in the background in the um the top left corner, that's where uh, you'll see Marlene at the very end of the game. That's where uh, Elmira decided to to stay. We're probably gonna have to come back here to buy some stuff and sell some stuff, but let's just uh, try to find the Megalixer. 
You would think it's in a cupboard somewhere? It couldn't be just lying in a box. Check the lock on the second floor of the inn five times. Okay. I've picked every other item. Okay. So let's do that. In. I think she says go up on ahead. Yep, yep, yep. My party, yep. There must be two. No. Shit. No. Okay. One. Two. Three. That's it, Mewson. Four. Five. Damn it. Dropped it, mainly so. Nice. Yeah, the guidebook from the pirate ship. Which is a very interesting item. It's just, it's just interesting. The look, like the supposed lore behind it. The Desert Rose being a ruby weapon, which is no easy feat. And the Loon Harp from Bone Village, yep. What does the um, Emerald Weapon end up dropping? I think like there's the Lunar Harp and then there's the Earth Harp. I think um, Old Man wants like one of the harps. But yeah, you're right, there, there is a harp in Bone Village, yeah. We just got ourselves a mega elixir, yeah, yeah. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yes, blah, blah, blah. Hear the story. Trust the planet. Yep, yep. I used to be like a normal person, but then I became a soldier. I was 16. They're helping out Grandpa here. Yep, so that's Cloud right there with the motion sickness. And that's uh, Zach checking on everyone. Zach's a good boy. And Zack didn't deserve to die for Cloud. They tried filling out Zack's backstory in uh, Crisis Call, but um, I'd rather put rusty spoons up my bum hole than play that game. What what was the the, the every time you went into battle it was like combat mode initiated. Oh my god, it got on my nerves. And I really I just really hated the lore and the slight wreck running. I wasn't a fan. Some people are huge fans of Crisis Core. And you know what? To each their own. I just wasn't a big fan. It's what always happens when um, Final Fantasy is bigger than normal, let's just say. And Square wants to build upon it. Like with... Um, 10. I think they made a spin-off of that and with 12 they made it no the one with the one with the uh, lightning they made a spin-off with that Remake has Zack survived the ending of Crisis School, but of course Of course, I mean, but Zack dies in both the original Final Fantasy 7 and in Crisis Call so if in the Final Fantasy 7 remake they make Zack live, it's just another example of Nomura magic. Thirteen, yeah. Anyways, this will be interesting. I'll point out the innkeeper that um, invalidates a glitch later. So let's just do this. Nibbleheim. Okay. Here is like the only example where you can um, have uh, Sephiroth in, in battle. I think with um, game shark hacks or codes, you can um, have Sephiroth in your party. And I'll, back in the day, I always thought that was the coolest thing. Excuse me. Zach, Jesse, Wedgebigs, they all live. What the fuck? The fuck? And I think they've introduced new characters in it as well. There's like a like a, a soldier that was on like a motorbike with like long hair and like it reminded me of like the characters from Final Fantasy 15. I'm like, 
why are you here? Who are you? And again, it's just normal to magic. He like he really wants people to know that he's the best in the world at making stories. And he's just not. Case in point. Um what's, what's its name? Kingdom Hearts. People love that series, but I mean it, the story is not good. Aerith knows the future and hushes Marlene from saying the magic vision she shared to the kid. Mm. And Cloud's dead. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sephiroth. Thank you, Sephiroth. That was very nice of him. And dead again. <laughs> I thought it was the coolest thing going through like the um the menu and checking out Sephiroth's stats and then I was like oh like he's kind of buffed out a bit because of the tough ring and uh some of the other things I thought hmm. I thought he'd be a bit stronger although he is like very strong it's just that by the end of the game you're way stronger so anyways Let's just breeze through this. Um, it's your job, right? So, fact, the guy in charge of the remake is the guy from Kingdom Hearts. Yep. Nomura. But, um... That's not to say that everything he's ever touched has been shit. I believe that he's been involved with several very successful... I think actually, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was like the, some of the character design for this game. Perhaps it was also why he was chosen. He may have done some character design for Final Fantasy VII. But would I say the character design for Final Fantasy VII is like the, the best thing on the planet? I don't know about that. Added some extra bosses that seem to suggest the Kingdom Hearts mult multiverse. Oh, three words you'd never want to hear. Kingdom Hearts multiverse. Blech. Influence on a fight against the manifestation of destiny who summons the three wannabes from Advent Children. Another film you want to suppress. There were some sequences in Advent Children which were pretty legit. Like I was like, oh, that's that's pretty. That's pretty good. But would I say that Advent Children was a good movie? Mm, that's a stretch. That's a stretch. Who summons the three wannabes from Advent Children at the end of the motorcycle chase after fighting Mot Motoball. Yeah. I feel like, and especially because they're breaking up into episodes, they say three episodes. Watch what happens when in... A year's time, two years time, they say, oh, it's going to be four episodes, guys. Can't wait to show you. It's going to be four episodes. It's going to fucking happen. You know it's going to fucking happen. Squares into crypto and NFTs now. They are not above doing shit like this. They are not above it. And what I say to it all is, I don't care anymore. Square Enix is kind of dead to me. The decisions that you made over the past decade, like... You've ruined your company. Just give Yoshi P control of Final Fantasy. <laughs> also, Sephiroth is having chats with Cloud, and there are hints to him knowing the future, and together with Aerith is going to change the outcome. <laughs> like, I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. I think the success, the um, success of the game, is going to be how many panty shots Yuffie has throughout the episodes uh, because that's what it comes down to in Japan panty shots of teenage girls I remember Geneva that's the damn hell of bitch that's right you've been paying attention it's kind of hard to forget something like that 
Tifa shut down Barrett like pretty harshly just now. They claim they're not doing that, but there's so much proof that things are a new game plus instead of a remake. Hmm. I mean, I've seen what they're trying to do with remake because I saw my friend um, um, Famicom Mark um, play the game um, about a year or so ago, and I, I just I think that the the, the battle um, stuff, the way they've done it, it's it's very hectic. And when you play a game like Final Fantasy VII, you're not playing for a hectic experience. You can make it hectic, but I mean, it's usually a very con controlled, chilled, relaxed experience. It's like you're going through the motions, we all know the story, we all know what's going to happen to the next bit, and we're just kind of chugging along, we're cruising, like, we're, we're very comfortable with this game. But with the remake, it's just like, the battle stuff seems to be very high octane. Like Twitch, um, Twitch reflex kind of stuff, and I'm like, oh, no thanks. Remake is a good game. It's uh, just never going to make the original obsolete. That's correct. Like you, you can try to bottle thunder twice, uh, bottle lightning twice, but it's very rare that that would happen. It's like uh, anything that's ever remade. Like, as, as homage or whatever, usually the original is better. How come you're nervous? How come nervous? Get back, uh, get back in the house. Get back in the house. This is why I love the Echo 7 mod. <laughs> um, so is it a genuine love? Or is it like an ironic hehehe? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I will say that a lot of love has been put into that fan project. But, um, um, sometimes some of the voice lines can come off as, um, very, very cringe, very cringe, but at least they tried, you know, at least they tried. It's time for Cloud to go see his mummy. Cloud's like, I don't want to talk about this. I want to hear, I want to hear. Yeah, tell about your mummy. All right. Your father died, yeah, yeah. When he was young, yeah. Yeah, so my mum, she was vibrant. But then she uh she died. Oh cool. A few days later she died, oh, okay, okay. Yes. Hi mum. Mm. I like it, and it's thanks to the hype around the mod that I'm voicing one of the seed. Oh, okay. Final Fantasy VIII. So there's a, another fan project for Final Fantasy VIII. Interesting. I mean, but like, expected. Like, if you think that um people would do that for seven, then logically you do it for eight too. And for nine. Remind me, like, Final Fantasy 7 is three discs, Final Fantasy 8 is four, and 9 is also four. I believe. Yeah. I really should give 9... Well, both... I always thought that 8 was like a sleeper hit, it just had like some flaws. But I, I never went back to finish it. But 9, I never gave 9 a chance because of the chibi art. That really turned me off at the time. Like, I was very against it. I was like, this is a Final Fantasy. But maybe I should give it, like, another try. There, are, I think that there were also a number of mechanics in 9 that were kind of... You either loved it or you hated it. I love the voice for Beatrix they cast for 9. Oh, there's a, there's a fan thing for number 9 as well. Interesting. 
kind of crushing. Mm. I wonder if the voice actor for that one um, has like her face on the internet or something. Or if she's like a person that prefers anonymity. I bet the girls never leave you alone. I bet the girls want a piece of clown. In dev? I see, I see. Are you eating right? I can get a hold of her on Discord? Mm. I'm alright. Company take care of me. Yeah, yeah. Is that so? You can't cook? Cloud? You know, Cloud. Isn't that right? You're a disappointment, Cloud. I'll always be your mother. Yes. When you think about it, that would kind of be a sad memory. Okay, now let's switch it up. Let's let's get a, a happy memory. It's time to steal Tifa's underpants. Yay! Did you go into my house? Hell yeah. Did I go into your house? Hell yeah. Did I go into your house? Hell yeah. Did you go into my drawer? Hell yeah. Being I'm doing a voice for eight, I have applied to do a voice in nine too. Well, you know, you do a good job in eight, um, and they'll probably want you for another project. Did you go into my room? Yeah. Um, I think it's in here. <laughs> hey, hey yo. Nice. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. The letter. Yeah, I read your letter. I remember it like it was yesterday. Can do a spot on baby Sinclair and a spot on Beaver's voice. Okay. Sinclair. Baby Sinclair. Sorry, if it's a Final Fantasy IX character, I wouldn't have a clue. Like, do I even remember the name of the main protagonist? He's like a little monkey boy. No. Oh, God. Like, um, didn't you have the, uh, like, uh, a catchphrase? That's the animatronics thing, right? Like, baby, or something like that. I don't know. Th that, that TV series is going a, a ways back. That was like early 90s. Yeah. But Beavis, yeah. I remember some, uh, Beavis and Buckhead. He's in the slums, making some money. Told them how to job. Okay, so you're like just a bum. Yeah. Hell yeah, I remember it all. Hell yeah. Yeah. What I think about is you, Tifa, yeah. Haven't seen for years. Talking about you, yeah. Yeah. Because everyone idolizes you, I couldn't very well stab them back. What do you mean? What, are you jelly? <laughs> like, if, if you're, like, jealous, like, Tifa's mine, like... I, I don't... The translation for that seems really off for me. Hits his dad with a frying pan, says, Not the mama. Oh, all right. Not the mama. I always acted cool, but actually I was just afraid of being jilted. You, you and Tifa didn't have a thing. Wow, if I keep writing to this, it'll become a love letter. Nah, nah, you, did you write back, Tifa? Like, Tifa, that's not cool. Um, yeah, I jammed on it. Um, I remember. Um, or do I?
jam on it. There, bitch. Did that all from, all from uh, listening to the tone and remembering the the, uh, the thing. Then I pat myself on the back for that. You got any more uh, orthopedic underwear in here? No. I'm Addy Five Thousand. Guess if you ain't got that underwear, I do not care. We out. All right. I think down here we got the kids who become burned in the uh, the town fire. I can't um, change the glitchy on the image lights showing the um, the top right corner. If you've noticed, it kind of glitches out every every so often. I apologize, but yeah, it is what it is. Shinra, Shin. <laughs> Chin right. Ah. Ah. Hmm. You gonna kill the monsters? Fuck the monsters? <laughs> yeah. Cute. Cute cute double act kids. Oh there you go. You're out to do it then. Well done. You're not a complete idiot. So many people can't play that tune like that. Like when you, like if you get it stuck in your head, I think it's pretty easy. It's just like figuring out like the button combination on on the pad. Do 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 do. Easy peasy Japanesey. First option. Yeah, with Sephiroth. Okay, so let's go back into. I don't want to go in there, I don't care. Now here, beware, if you talk to this person here, during the flashback, you will not get the Ghost Heiress on disc 2. This does not matter to many people that just play the game normally, but if you are trying to get the badge, aka the Retro Achievements Final Fantasy badge, this is an achievement that is missable. I'd made the tune with my old cell phone back in 99 or 2000 as a custom ringtone. Okay. It was like a very... I think there was even an option back in the day. Remember back in the day when you can, you, you had to pay for ringtones? You know, one or two dollars? And you could buy a ringtone. Like, ooh, that was like the big thing. Yeah. Thankfully, none of that shit exists anymore. I'm not even sure if I want to speak to, um, he's, uh, Zagan, right? Tifa's teacher? Zangan, there we go. I have 128 students. Cool. Well, I gotta go upstairs. Don't talk to me, innkeeper. If you do, I will literally rip your face off. I wonder if uh, he knows this place. Maybe, maybe his childhood. Maybe his the Sephiroth's childhood was um, was spent at the uh, the Shinra Mansion with a uh, Professor Gast. No, no, not Professor Gast with Hojo. At the at the Shinra Mansion. Maybe. I had an old Siemens phone that could make its own ringtones with a MIDI tone set. That's pretty cool. I think back in those days, I think the earliest phone I ever got was, um, 
Oh god, it was like a a Skype phone. It was a prepaid Skype phone. Uh, it was rubbish. And then I moved to Japan and I got like a, a nice um clam phone, which I still have. And it's amazing. People pay money for those old phones. Like I could literally sell that now for something like two hundred dollars. I was like, huh. But does the technology even work anymore? Like it's on a 3G? So I don't know. Why in the flashback don't they have enough beds? The mansion is Shinra property and they're staying in the inn. This is true. Why don't they sh why don't they stay um, at the um, the mansion? That's a very weird point. Hmm. Maybe the uh, the mansion smells of cat pee. We're short one bed. Mm. Okay, well, I guess this guy here, aka Cloud, is gonna sleep on the other uh, wooden floor. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's get some sleep. He's hired a young, a young guide. The younger the better, right, Sephiroth? Yeah. Hope we can use her properly. Alright, um... Talk to you? Um, yeah, I think they will. Late again? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Where's Tifa? Trust me. Alright. Come on, take the picture. Take that step. Hell yeah. I'm gonna post that on Instagram. I'll send each of you a copy once it's developed. <laughs> Joke's on you. The village is going up in flames. You ain't developing shit. I, I like the look of Mount Nebel. It's so otherworldly. Mustard stains. Boom, 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 boom. After eating too many hot dogs, mustard stains. Do do. On my pants. Don't look at my dirty ass, dusty pants with the mustard stains. Don't look. All right, they're all dead. The end. Don't look at my pants with the mustard stains in all of them hot dogs. Dog, come on, come on. How far the other one? Oh well, oh well. Yeah, there's no time. Okay, so we can move now, but we can also look in the menu for baby cloud. There's a baby cloud portrait right there. And then there's a Sephiroth picture right there. And we have a look at the status of Sephiroth, the strongest man in the, the known universe. A Massamoon, a gold amulet, 
omelette and a tough ring. And this bitch has just got a buster sword. I think his uh, material is cover. No, preemptive. So. Which is actually a perfect um, material in terms of like this flashback sequence. Because it, it pretty much ensures, well, most of the time that Sephiroth will get the first go. And like, he's just like, he's loaded. You can't remove any of his at sea. You try to remove any of that shit, he's like, do not touch my material. Everything's mastered. But you'd think like, oh, maybe you'd have some, some more shit. You can't like, um, take off. Like usually you'd go in, um, into that sub menu in a range and be able to, to to take off some material, but alas, not to be. <laughs> and it's a shame, but we can't see the limits either. I'm imagining that Sephiroth had some limits, but um, yeah, wouldn't that be cool to know what limits uh, Sephiroth had and the experience level? Yeah. Very high decks. Yep. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyways. Bobby Boo. Give Sephiroth. He does have one, if I remember from my days as a modder, it was Vincent's limit break. Oh really? What was Vincent's first uh, limit break? He turns into like a Frankenstein, doesn't he? Or is it like a beast? Interesting. Still, like I would have liked for Sephiroth to have... Um, even if they're not shown... Like, a limit break. Actually, does he? If he gets hit, would that raise his limit level? And are we able to see Sephiroth like do a limit break in this flashback sequence? Probably not. Because I think whenever something tries to hit him, it's always for zero. Vincent or also being the one able to equip his sword if you cheated the game. Okay. That's unfortunate. It's just that, you know, this being the only sequence where you can see anything regarding Sephiroth close and personal, you kind of want more, but yeah. I like that they went to the trouble of, you know, equipping him with all that stuff and the, the material and the stats and blah, blah, blah. And especially the, um, the character avatar. As well as like a, a baby avatar for Cloud just for this sequence. Yeah. Sephiroth would never take that much damage. He reaches, uh. Yeah. Before he reaches the limit break, yeah. Alright, kill him, Sephiroth. Bolt through, bang. Kill them all. And no experience. Awesome. No drops. No drops, no experience. No AP. No nothing. No food. No sleep. No nothing. Just maniacism. This area is also quite interesting. They don't reuse the art assets in this room. And I like the, the, the wood here. The way it all knots up. Things very nice. 
The knowledge and wisdom of the ancients. And therefore that is why we can use magic. The power of the land and the planet. Knowledge interacts between ourselves and the planet calling out magic. What an explanation. Mm. Oh, that Hojo, aka hey Daddy. People who made um, Echo S7 are working to create post-game content that covers the novella on the way to a smile. It seems like a lot. It seems like a lot. That'd be like uh, people adding information into like the Star Wars trilogy based upon like uh, extended universe uh, novella. I mean, I get it. I get it. There does seem to be a lot of Final Fantasy VII related fanfiction and, and stuff. Would I personally say that there's like a richness to Final Fantasy VII's world that we haven't seen? I would say that um, perhaps Final Fantasy VIII's world is more richer, personally. It was insane coding the models and text boxes. Was watching him do it live. Oh, I mean, dealing with um, the um, PlayStation. I can I can tell you. Yeah. Eight hours work, two minutes gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that happening. I love this uh, particular area as well. Just uh, the, the, the use of color. Hey, Seth. Genova. Close the valve. Oh, yeah, let me just get my wrench out, Sephiroth. You did call. Why did it break? Because there's monsters inside. Right. So he's trying to condense all that Mako energy into a living being. Can I, can I look at it please? Please? Please. Okay. So, you only see this, um, refraction. I love that drawing. That drawing looks awesome. That's right, that's a monster main. different okay and this is when uh, Sephiroth turns from normal person that you can talk to to absolute fruit loop so cloud was the trigger for all that good job cloud <laughs> oh, shit he has a very short fuse Sephiroth
The triggered Zenert Genova. Go. Cool. It's time for this egg to hatch. Oh. Delicious chicken nugget. Oh, my legs are hot. Hot legs. Ah. She's right there in the other room doing her mental manipulation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, she's right there and she has her head. Am I a human? <laughs> we'll probably keep going for another two hours or so. Yeah, I'd say like stopping it too. That's like, um, yeah. Good old Sephiroth does have Genova cells in him. I feel like it's like, okay, like to, it, it's explained that Sephiroth does have Genova cells in him, but it's like, we get none of his backstory. It's just like explained like, okay, this is, this is it. And, and this is why he's doing it. But I feel like we, we don't get enough Sephiroth. Like that, that's the huge mystery, right? Why are you talking to me? Uh, keep talking. Yep, we found him inside the Shinra mansion. Yep, yep, yep. Long ago, the Shinra people used to live there, but now they decide the inn's better with one missing bed. Because fuck it. Alright. Um, I don't think I can get any items now. Or can I? No. Let's just go to, um... Sephiroth. Froth or froth. I don't think there's any battles. Random battles. It's only, like, when you... Visit Nibelheim the second time. Not in flashback form, I guess. And Vintent is right there. We can't go in. Can't go in. Confirmed to be an ancient. No, I think they realize that Genova is not an ancient. Genova is like an alien. Like an alien virus from outer space. It's like, oh, okay, sure. Okay. Imagine being under the illusion that your father is a great man, but actually, like, your father's a piece of shit, like Hojo. Who are you? This is where Cloud and Zack scratch on the glass. It's nice. Leave me be alone. Alright. Later. Read them books, read them books, read them books. That's a lot of books to read, Sephiroth. can't open this yet like I said we can open it later okay the music's changed now let everyone know that Sephiroth's completely gone fruitless mode 
Sephiroth now had a chance. He was destined to go insane with Hojo, his father, and, and Genova's genetic material. Hojo probably put Genova's cells in him. Probably. Like, we, we don't get enough uh, backstory, because Hojo is the only living witness to what... to, to Sephiroth's childhood, really. So, obviously, if Falna is uh, Sephiroth's mother... Or is... or is she? No. Sorry, Lucrezia is. So, you know, the one that you um, see in the... Um, in the waterfall. The one that um, Vincent was in love with. It's a whole tangled mess. So, it's weird. Perhaps Vincent has some knowledge as well of Sephiroth in the past. Hmm. Hard to tell. I have like one of the, um, I think it was the first spin-off game, uh, Dirge of Cur Kerberos for the PS2, and I didn't look too hard into it because I thought, ooh, Final Fantasy VII, ooh, Vincent, and it was nothing, it wasn't a JRPG at all, it was just like this game, and I was like, oh, alright, but maybe it had some lore baked into that game that I, I wasn't paying attention to, that talked more about, um, but yeah. Pojo injected uh, genome cells into the unborn baby. Lucretia let him. Yeah, the whole relationship between Hojo, Lucretia, and um, Vincent. It's interesting, and it seems to like take place um, a very long time ago. Hmm. So I wonder how old, um, old Sephiroth really is at the moment. Like, is he 30s? 40s? Hmm. Vincent 57? Oh, according to, like, in-game canon. Hmm. And yet, it just seems like Lucrezia and, um, Vincent... They are very old. Hmm. Anyway. I'm grasping at straws. Genova was found in the geological stratum 2,000 years ago. Okay, so... She was found in the ground. She's 2,000 years old, apparently. All right. Genova Project wanted to produce people with the power of the ancients, etc. Okay, so he was the one that was produced. Lucretia was Mama. Hojo was Dada. I'm off to see my Mama. Boom, 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 boom. Out of my way. I'm off to see my mother. Oh, dear. <laughs> and, in my opinion, this is probably the best rendered CGI cutscene of the entire game. The, the lines on uh, Sephiroth on his character, it looked the cleanest. There is some CGI in this game that looks frankly fucking lazy. Oh no, everyone, hot and spicy. Yeah, yeah, that's 15. He's a little boy. I'll check in my house and see if my mother is alive. Nope. She's a burnt chicky nugget. No. Uh-oh. Mama dead.
See, I don't like how he's rendered here. And also his dreadlocks. Just dreadful. Look at that. Look at the dreadlocks. To be fair, this CG was made and learned in just a single year's time. Square had to invest in new hardware to make it in very short notice, yeah. This is also true. Because um, they were planning on making Final Fantasy VII for Nintendo, and then the Nintendo deal fell through, and they said, okay, let's join up with Sony instead, and Sony were like, yeah, yeah, we, we're doing CD-based hardware, and it's like, okay. Like, you're, you're no longer doing cartridge-based stuff, you're doing CD-based stuff, and the way that you were doing things before, you got to change it. So, yeah, I can get the pressure that they were under. I get it. And plus, back in those days, investing in um, that sort of hardware, that's like um, tens of thousands of dollars easily. I thought it was because um, um, Nintendo, there, there was a schism. Like, um, PlayStation was born out of nin Nintendo and... Um, and no no sorry like Nintendo and Sony themselves those two companies had a falling out and then Sony went ahead with PlayStation right I think that's how it went and then um Squaresoft decided oh, instead of Nintendo we're going to go with Sony exclusive Sony and oh Sony and Philips oh so why did Square decide to go with um, Sony instead of Nintendo? They must have done something wrong, because like... Up until that time, I was pretty sure that Square was like loyal to, to Nintendo. There's probably like a whole... Like, <laughs> there's probably a whole series of YouTube videos explaining the history of this shit, but... Yeah. It's, it's too late at night. <laughs> it's too late at night. Hate them all. Mmm, Tifa's dead has been chopped up. Oh. I thought that my HP was 160. Whatever. Come on, show us. Show us the art. Mother, I'm here. Open. No, no. Let chop. Oh, that should have like sliced it basically in half. But plot armor. Tifa, you're more than in trouble now. You've been <laughs> you've been literally cut in half by Sephiroth's sword. Yeah, I think I'll just dump you over here. You'll be right. Just, re <laughs> just relax. Rest it off. Rest it off. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna kill Sephiroth. <laughs> it'll, it'll be okay. Trust me. The art in this scene. Oh. Look at it. Sony wanted to make consoles and wanted to do CDs. Nintendo didn't want Philips as the licensee holder of CD technology tied to their cost making new hardware. Okay. Hmm. So that's why Sony made their own console. Hmm. It's time to watch the best cutscene. Best. In fact, it's it's weird. Like the quality of this cutscene compared to all the others, I always found it a bit jarring.
Oh, red eyeball. He is. What about my shadiness, though? I'm the chosen one? What? Whoa, 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 hold up. You're the chosen one? Hold up. Stupid people. If Nintendo hadn't been reluctant to make the Sony deal, um, there wouldn't have been a PlayStation. And N64 would have been CD. Yeah, what could have been. But, in a way, that was the best thing that could have happened to gaming. Imagine, like, no Sony. Like, I, I'm like 100% a Sony fanboy. Like, I grew up with, like, PS1, PS2, PS3, the libraries for, for those consoles. My god. And of course, Nintendo had some pretty good stuff, but, like, I was not a Nintendo 64 person at all. And I believe that during that time period, Nintendo was getting killed. No Sony, no Xbox. Yep, Microsoft wouldn't have sensed weakness and jumped into the fray. Yeah. Fade to white. Nintendo would have dominated. I reckon, honestly, I think Nintendo might have even stagnated. And then they might have, like... And if, if that were the only game in town, and they stagnated... That would have been very bad for video gaming. Yep, Atari was dead. We still had PC gaming, but it was like... It was, It would have been... That era would have been like very heavy FMV. Like they were really pushing that, like, you know, having actors in FMV. So you had that, and then you had like... Like you said, N64 stuff, and it's like... Mm. Well, if console gaming died, and we only had like PC FMV sort of stuff... Imagine where gaming could have... Could have gone. Yeah. Anyways. In terms of skill, I couldn't uh, kill him. I'm allowed to. Yeah, Tifa, like, why, why don't you have a big slash on your chest? I can't see any, any type of scarring on, on Tifa. So, did Tifa get slashed or not? Was that like a complete fabrication? We would have had the Nintendo versus Philips CDI. Oh, God. Yeah. The CDI. Wasn't the CDI, didn't they make those very jank um, Zelda games? Like the wand of... I can't remember it. They had two um, very jank voiced CD um, games, yeah. I think uh, the most memorable meme from it was my boy, my boy, yeah. All right, I think we've done the calm sequence now. Uh, right. Sam and uh, LucasArts went with CDI with their titles. Yeah. LucasArts, like a couple of the games back in the day, were fucking so good. Like, um, do you remember um, um, Zombies Ate My Neighbors? That's, de that's actually a game, like, eventually I would like to badge. That's um, a super long, super hard game, uh, which requires skill. I can I can hear the music for zombies at my neighbors in my head. Almost makes me want to play it right now, but yeah. How bad was I when Sephora coming? <laughs> and she's like, like full like Sephora didn't cut me with his sword. I was hiding. What a fast thing, sorry. <laughs> Nanaki's like, he's detected all the lies, and he's like, this guy's a Fruit Loop. None of that was truth. 
and we're asking him to be our leader? This is weird. I finished Ghosts and Goblins. That's another one that's in my Redeem library. Oh wait, the PHS. Yep, Ghosts and Goblins, that's a, a real man's game. And not only that, it pulls the Super Mario bullshit where it's like the princess is in another castle. It's like, um, if you didn't collect all the artifacts and the, the, the bracelet, like, you, you can't get the true ending and I will never be free. I'm like, oh god. Not only that, it was all under time limits. And they were quite tight time limits too. You couldn't fuck around in those games. Alright. All done. Now... What else? Let me just do it and then do it. Um, let me show you what I'm reading. Okay, we're up to this bit here. Palm flashback. Pick up all the items. Check the locker. Yep. Okay. So just that. Okay. It doesn't say for me to, to buy anything. Okay. How to catch a chocobo without materia? That's impossible, but who needs a chocobo when you can simply use the save trick? I think this is what you were talking about before, Mewson. Oh, no, no, no. They're talking about the save trick. Right. This is a little bit tricky, though. But the thing is, um, if you fight and if you want to get a chocobo, don't you get experience from that? Yeah. You literally have to kill the other things and get experience. Okay, so it's going to force us to do the, the save trick. All right, fair enough. We can do that. Cloud. Barrett, red. Clown, back row. Gotcha. Um. Maybe I want to sell some stuff. the guard source on myself. Dismounting the choke bow in the right spot after walking to the... But we won't be able to, to mount one because that would mean um, getting XP in a battle. So it's like, okay, how we even do this? And we can't, we gotta do the save. Um... It's, it's, it's known. Like, you just, um, save, and before the, the Zolan hits you, you, um, you know, you save your game, and then you load it back up after doing a soft reset. So, yeah. Either or, either or. So, what can we get here? Do we want to even buy some potions? I think what's going to be better is if we buy some, um, materia. Right. True, but you skip everything up to Junon. Hmm. Well, uh... Earth. I bought it. I bought it because I wanted it. Now I got it. Weapon store. Store.
Hmm. <sighs> yeah. The mythical core is nice, but we can get something better. We've already got the atomic scissors for um, Barrett. We'll just use the, the save, um, save state abuse shit. It is fine. We can also get another, um, materia. The, um, the Choco Mog. We'll go visit Choco, uh, Choco Billy's, uh, place. I don't believe that there are any other enemy skills we can pick up along here. I think it's just, um, Matra Magic. The next one is the flamethrower. Right. Power Soul Mountain Evil, yep. Oh, run away. I should keep this on. Even though it's a little bit cold, like when I turn it off, it's a little bit like oppressive. Let's get dangerous. Dark wing duck. Then cast death sentence on Tifa for four times damage output. Oh, does is that a thing? Of course it's a thing. It sound it sounds exploitable as fuck. Wark? Wark wark? Wark. Oh no. No no. Wark? Wark. Let's do that dance. This reminds me of Final Fantasy IV for some reason. Like, there are, there's like several parts where like, all the um, people on screen will dance. I'm like, why are you dancing? Why are you dancing? Give me the red thing. Thank you. Vincent with death penalty weapon can break damage numbers, but not in this run. Give me the thing, do. There we go, lovely. Hmm, awesome. Deals damage based on how many kills you got with him. Oh, okay. Well, uh, can we get... No, we have to pay him like 2,000 or something. And I think that the guy doesn't want me to use it, so... It wants us to completely avoid this place, I guess. Okay. Death penalty can rack up kills and go over nine 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 damage. Sounds very powerful. There there are probably many ways to break this game. I think I think I've um personally heard about that. Okay, let me see. Okay, that's where the old Mick Gazolan is. Messing up my characters. Damn it. Okay. Saving here.
Go. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I really did. He got me good. But I kind of want to piss off the Zolem so I can get like the uh, the beta attack. But with this low level run, I don't think it's even possible. Unless we get the firing, but we'd have to get a cost to the soul to get that first. Right on my nuts, isn't he? I wonder if there's like a way to kind of manipulate him close to the mountain, which will make him like very, will make it difficult for him to get to me. Me, bitch. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, he knows about me. Come back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back. And then I'll go around the other side. No, all right. Leave me alone. Easy. Too easy. Very easy game. Is he gonna like instantly get into me? That'd be funny if he did. No worries. No worries. Oh no, Sephiroth. What have you done? Dead snake. I like how its tongue's hanging out too. Let's get all the items. Don't touch me. Inside here. Or do you want? Or should I save? Once I'm outside. Actually, let me go here. Just save here. But I don't think I can survive the fight and run away. 
even if I put like a elemental fire on a, I don't know, cloud say, I don't think it reduces um, the damage enough. So. Like I've, I've um, theory crafted this because I obviously really wanted beta. But if like you're a low level, you just get like mashed. Yeah. To to pull it off, you need the um the fiery, no matter what. So unless you're able to level up your elemental to like level two or three, I think um no levels. Let me just have a look at this. So it's currently a one star, which is like half damage. If you get it to two stars, I think it's um, nullified. So if I was able to get it to two star, maybe. And then um, I think three star is you absorb half. Four star is you absorb all of it. Something like that. But yeah, beta would, yeah, fuck me up. And we need to get breathed on by a dragoline so I can get some thank you and then we just uh hmm I'll put long range here sense there and I'll put you in the back row Dragon? Okay, we just want you to breathe on who? Please breathe on uh, Cloud. Does Cloud have any enemy skill? Shouldn't he have enemy skill on him? Thank you. Please let me run away. Yes. So much damage. Sadness increases um, defense. I'll just leave her be. Just try to run away. Pick from every fight. We were able to get one enemy skill, but I thought that I have a uh, matra magic on there. You see that? Do you see that? So I had the um, the flamethrower happen to me, but because I ran away, it didn't hold. This is the main um, reason why enemy skill might not work in this playthrough. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. See? He's been hit again. He's learned it. He's run away. But because I didn't kill the enemy, it didn't hold. Along the way, there are going to be certain enemies which we are going to be allowed to kill. Um, uh, Materia Keeper. That's going to be the main one because Materia Keeper has Trine. So if we can get that trine uh, magic going, that'd be pretty sweet. Oh yeah, for sure, White Wind. For sure. For sure. And Big Guard and Death Sands. Maybe Big Guard because those... If we can find like um, two beach plugs, just two, I don't think that that'd be too bad, but 
I want to say like um oh but this this guide doesn't say anything about killing um anything because enemy skill is a materia in this guide it's a no materia run and I'm not sure how close I'd be skirting the line you know what I mean mmm mmm tough having white wind though Ooh. Because, like, when they say, like, you know, you have to use a guide really, or you have to really plan things, they're not joking. By the end of this, um, at the end of that guide, you are very close to level 28, apparently. Very close. So I have to be careful. I can't be too greedy. Should I use a tent here? A tent is 500, a potion is 50. One. Two. Two. We'll use, we'll use two. There's some treasure. Oh, let me get my treasure, come on. Uh, do these have something I can steal? Death sentence with Tifa's power soul and low HP does multiply her basic attack eight times. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not saying like no, I'm just saying we'll see. Same. I'm pretty sure I can steal something from these things, yeah? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Let me go back to the. No, 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 don't want you. Do, 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 do. Shinra building, do do do. No, I don't want that. Uh, quests. No. I'm looking at like the the Final Fantasy fandom website. Uh, no, I just wonder when this guide was made and if some of the speedrun info was taken into consideration. Let me have a look. So, okay, here. This was made 2007. So a long ass time ago. This was made a long ass time ago. Okay, l assuming like we completely follow this guide to the letter, it should tell us how close we get to like level 28, shouldn't it? Let me switch it over. Chocobo glitch, yeah. Right, safe for Sephiroth. Okay, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't really say like the ending levels. lowest level you can learn several enemy skills like magic hammer big guard and white wind yeah, yeah, yeah okay this is basically what this one is i think low level no materia. Low level, no materia, initial equipment, no accessories. Get fucked. <laughs> Low level, no items, initial equipment, no accessories. The same thing, isn't it? Oh. 
except no material has been replaced with no items. Ah, oh, no items. Ah, oh, I see. <clears throat> um, sorry, I'm missing comments here. Let me go back to you. They might not have known the um, Power Soul death sentence true. Probably not. The Yuffie fight debug room shortcut may have even been too obscure. Oh yeah, initial equipment's fucking yuck. Like damage output and material slots. This is gross. Anyway. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go back to this guide. Da, 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 da. Get it back to where it was meant to be. Here. I think, like, the, the basic steps of this, like, we're going about it in an okay fashion. But I'm just, I'm, I'm very... I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> like... I'd, I would like, with a guide like this, I would like it if it told me, okay, your level should be about here. Because then it's like, okay, I, I didn't fuck up. Remember, it is so easy to fuck up. Um, now, this enemy here, I'm pretty sure, has something I can steal. I'm pretty sure they got something I want. Oh, could you not? Nice. What do you even have? I, I feel like a Madog. Okay, so FF7 Madog. I, I think I'd just rather look it up directly on the wiki. Because I'm getting, like, pummeled. Madog. Grand Glove. Yeah, so this is a good item for uh, Tifa, yeah. Oh, okay, use them, thank you. So it's worth going for. It is worth going for. You know what? Should've done that from the very start. But I am a silly Billy.
There we go. Thank you, mine source. Hey, do I waste a Phoenix down? Uh, I kind of have to, don't I? Don't die again. I don't have a restore though, that sucks. There's gotta be some store that sells decent material. Perhaps when I get to Junon. That's rough not having access to a restore because I sold it thinking I didn't have a use for it. It is rough. so much better. Holy shit. I'll get about it. Cool. Fuck it. Just give her a potion. Um... Protect my goyles. Junon for Condor, Costa del Sol. Ah, oh, pick up um, lower level material like fire, ice, lightning, and uh, restore. Nice. So that's definitely we'll, we'll um we'll definitely pick up restore at um, the earliest possible opportunity because like it's just so expensive. Otherwise, um, yeah. All right. So I get off the screen. Do I? Okay, no. I mean, yes, probably, but... Get screen. Like, I don't care about not getting, um, match magic or fire, uh... What do you call it? Fire? Flamethrower? I don't mind, but, um, it's very annoying. And not having access to a uh, white wind as I'm usually used to. Well, actually, we wouldn't get um, access to white wind until we get manipulate anyway. So, and by that time, right. Elena, you talk too much. June on Harbour, yeah. Elena, shut up. Sing. Like, you, sh you slapped her. I need to tell you to take care. Like, no bro. Fucking gaslighting. Right. Boom, boom. Now, is that it? Because there's like a little list of like uh, items you can pick up along the way. Ether tent. Did I pick up a tent? I feel like I didn't. I feel like I didn't. Where's my tent? I got mine source, ether, elixir, high potion. Pretty sure. Is it worth going back for a tent? Honestly, it absolutely is. But where's the tent? Maybe I already got it. Maybe I already got it. I don't know. Let's just get out of here. There's got there's gotta be better ways of making money. I think we can also get access to Fort Condor, yay! Okay, finally out. 
And uh, this is Fort Condor right here. Yep, definitely, definitely. Like in that run, it's like saying um, no material, therefore they can't steal. So, that's rough. Nothing to steal. We can't kill it. Like, we obviously want the white wind, but, yeah. Like, it is seriously that tight. The, um, the level 28 run, apparently. I think I can get free healing in here. No worries. Junon Shmunon. I don't care. We've got to do this first battle. There are 15. Apparently there are um, something like 19 programmed in. But um, you are physically unable to get to 4 or 5 of them. Oh, and I think... Don't they sell uh, Restore here too? I think you mentioned that, that they do. Let me let me see. Yeah, for condo. Yeah. I guess so. Huge Boyd laying a big fucking egg. Please give me the materia. Nope, not you. Oh baby. Oh baby. So Alright. We'll get rid of these. Is there anything else that we can sell that the game's not gonna get pissy about? Like, if it tells us, like, you're meant to have such and such amount of money by this point, then, like, I can probably just steal some stuff, so it's it's no big. Have you got that glove on? You should do good. Good girl. Restore. Ah. Yes. 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 Your poison, your poison running through my veins. There we go. Excellent. Take a rest, yes. We sleep in the same bed. Alright, save point as well. So good. Beep, beep, beep. Um, sure. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if, like, this is a common strategy, um, Mew, but I want to show you how I deal with, um, every battle. Every single battle. I never lose with this strategy. <laughs> I think after um, all the battles are done, they give you the remainder of the fund. So.
enough. Uh, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, mate, but like, I've got this. Yeah, that's definitely um, my strategy as well. So you've got the line, uh, where is it? Here? Okay, so what I do is um, I will do like um, fighters only. So I'll put one fighter there and I'll stack them. So you, you want about four uh, minimum in each pack. Four will do though. So one for the left, one for the middle and one for the right. Oh really? That's how you do it? Okay, okay. Because um, with the money that we spend on troops, we get it all back anyway. So. I'm just noticing. Like my overall guild. All right. Like this will do. I'm happy with this. So I take the um, speed down to low. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll point a arbitrary line. Let's say I want them to go here. As a group. There's a reason for this. Okay, I want you to literally go, okay, on this white speck. say here Put the speed up to high Put it back down to low. Okay, at this stage, I want this entire group to attack the uh, the animal here. And what will happen is once they all get on the same spot, they'll all fight in unison. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and they're only getting off one attack. So maybe one of your guy might get like a little bite, but that thing is fucking. It's done, though. It's dead. And you do that with everything. move down to here I think Nice. 
Okay, one, two, three, four. Good. All's well. As soon as these guys get down to there, the, um, it's important that you don't um, press the X button. It's important that you cancel out because if you... Damn it. Okay, it, it, it auto did it. Like, if you go to the battle, all it does is like one fighter versus one enemy. Which is what you don't want. These guys are all in sync with the dog. We shall soon see. Cancel out. Cancel out. I cancel out of that. Marching forward, boys. Keep all moving. Lovely. Keep moving. No losses. Like once they once they group in, and it's like encounter enemy, and they're all in the in the basic sort of area, it gets to a point where it's like okay, six, seven shots in a row, and it's like oh, they're already dead. Eleven allies. They gave me back um, 2,200. Now I spent um, I spent 400 gil on each one, didn't I? So I, I lost a bit of gil there. That's fine. That's fine. I can steal things, which is something that wasn't accounted for in the other guide. Magic comb. That's for uh, Nanaki. Nanaki. Just sell some items just in case they want me to do like another battle straight away. Yeah, just let me sell some of my shies. What do I want to get rid of? Not Elixir. I've gotten rid of all my ethers. I could sell my bronze bangles. For 50 gold. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of them. Everything else though. Guard stick. Yeah. Why not? Initial equipment, I know, but, you know. Sentimental value, I know, but. The 
these are trying times that we are in. One. One. Hmm. 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 150? Yeah. It's all about the ether. If you can find enemies with ether and you can steal, like, lots of ether, that's how you make money. Alright. Let me go downstairs. Save again. So you reckon, Mew, your strategy is just to have, like, one person run down the battlefield and not fight anyone. That's an interesting strat. Interesting strat. You would think that they would, um, focus on you if you tried to do something so, um, so obvious, so blatant. Let me up. Yep, yeah, oh, I've definitely used your beds. Let's go back upstairs. Get down fast, place units lower down when you get there and take their type into account. Yeah, with mine, like, once, once units of any type mass on a spot, like, and you tell them to attack, they're just going to attack. And yes, they're slow. However, if you've got six massed together, and then they get to a spot, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, the thing's dead. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's like their, like, tank enemy or anything. Like, because their tank might hit like, like a one unit once, and maybe one unit again, but then it's dead. It's like, and you know, Especially fighters, they can take a lot of, uh, lot of abuse. What I might do... Is I, I'll have like a, um, five. But, but I'll only put them in the middle. And I'll just go down the mountain. Because the, the thing is, you've got to kill the enemy, right? But then again, you don't even need to spend money. All you need to do is, is have the battle with the, um, the enemy commander, right? So you don't even need to spend money. You could just allow them to walk to the shed and then kill them. That still works. Placing one already pushes the line as soon as the battle starts. Can you, can you buy during the battle? I thought that that wasn't a thing. Although it's been so long. Ah, I see. Interesting. Anyway, that was the first of our mandatory 15 fort battles. The next one, I'll need to pull up my personal thing. I have a separate spreadsheet for this one. Or, or rather, it's part of like an existing spreadsheet I have. Okay, where is it? Okay, so you have to defeat Bottom Swell, but before talking to Priscilla. This fucking game, man. <laughs> this fucking game. Alright. Interesting strat. I guess my, my method of doing things is more like a, um... A sledgehammer. Yours is more like a scalpel. But sledgehammer is very easy. You just like lose a bit of money. But what's money? What's money? I'm very happy I got the restore though. That's gonna make the run so much easier. That's like I can just do cure all, restore, restore, boom. Okay, Junon is over this way. However, isn't Yuffy also in a forest around here? Isn't Yuffy in one of these forests? I think she is. 
Where's my little bitch? Where's my little bitch? I think she's hanging out in here. And there's also an enemy in here um, that we can steal off. So I might as well go in here. Where are you, Yuffie? Yeah, these things have something. Can I just get a quick steal off you? Okay, that's that's uncalled for. I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, mine to save time to get units further down the line, and yours to get the sledgehammer. Um, my one is just like... I just place mass enemies and I overcome, like, with just, like, weighted numbers. That's literally all mine is. It's not like a big strategy, but... Right, if we face, like, two of those birds, I'll kill one bird. No, not these things. Fuck. That's terrible. Alright. I'm getting, hopefully... I'll get a battle out on the open, not in the forest. Because the these enemies are nothing. I need to get Aerith to do her healing wind. The way I push the line saves a little bit of time as the unit takes a slight part of the map in front of it. I see. Stop talking errors, god damn. I keep forgetting. We're not in love anymore. I keep forgetting about the cure magic. Do, 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 do. Checkmate. Placing units like you do when the line gets to be lower mid-battle would kill as efficient. It, it would not be as efficient? Sure. I mean, it just means you run down before the encounter quickly place the rest of the units there. I mean, like, it's, you know... It is what it is. Um, just try to steal. Ares is dead. It's fine. Just try to steal. I'll try in the next battle. Your method. This thing likes killing my, my guys. He loves killing my guys. This is very rough. I can just load up the um the save. It's fine, I can load up the save.
Mm, four condor. Just uh, just check that I've got the magic comb in here. Nice. I think the um the item that we're trying to to get from those birds is um a, like a boomerang for Yuffie anyway. So we want to build out a girl. Good. Just whack the bird a bit. Get a bit of whack. Oof. Yeah, bash a little bit. And then we go back to four condor to rest in the beds to get the MP back. Oh my god. This bird do not give a fuck. Thank you. Dirty bird. You're not going to let us leave? <laughs> that was, uh, that was rough. And now we, we just float back to the uh, four condor to get the... Uh... Okay, you don't deserve the cure magic. Or rather, it can be shared. It can be shared. Okay, this will give us a little bit more time out in the field then. Don't touch me. There's my Yuffie. Now how do we, um, do we just defeat her? I don't recall. I don't recall. Maybe I just look for Yuffie. Yuffie. <laughs> First floor is a random encounter. Okay. I beat her up. 
I beat you up. Mystery Ninja. I think she has the ability of running away, doesn't she? Go be running your way when you're paralyzed. Teehee. Oh. Okay, we'll, we'll just see if this gives experience. But... Oh man. Do you want a ban? Wow. Do you even need Yuffie? I can't believe you said that. I need Yuffie. I need Yuffie. Yuffie, Yuffie, I need Yuffie. However, who's gonna take the, the experience? Tifa? Which gonna put on to Tifa? I think, look, Yuffie is an optional character. I think we can get her at this point. But is it only this point? No. No, I mean, this is the only place you can find her. The thing is, you can get her later? At what point later? Because, I mean, I guess I can go without for a little bit longer, but... Like, 160... 160 um, XP doesn't seem like much. It just... I, I, I don't want to give 160 um, experience to everyone. So... Okay, a random encounter in any forest. Okay. Look, I think, like, we'll give it to Tifa. So, exact same circumstances, but, like, um, before she's about to die, we'll just use grenades to kill Aerith and Cloud. Like, she'll be paralyzed, so she can't run away. I'm pretty sure that she can run away. In combat, that is, as Mystery Ninja. Anyway. <sighs> Progress down the drain, because we gotta we gotta find a boomerang now as well. <sighs> That's tough. Alright, just a heads up. Um that's um once I do that, as in get the boomerang and get um, Yuffie, that'll probably be the end of the stream for today. But I'll be back tomorrow. Just letting you all know. It's um, approaching 2 a.m. in the morning here, so I gotta get into bed.
Don't worry, big bird. It's probably preferable to get her though, I feel. As early as possible. Because I'm assuming that if you try to, um, well, I don't know. I just, I just want Yuffie. Um, no, nah, like, no, nah. no, nah. it's quicker for me just to restart. In fact, okay, I'll wake up in four condor, but I'll be outside and then I'll drop another save. Get down the fucking ladder, it's not that hard, Cloud. Let's get down the ladder. Alright. Drop the save here. Okay. Um... Mm. Give me your chicken wing. And your boomer rang. Give me all the things that I want. things out of the way. Alright. Don't target Tifa. They're quite powerful, aren't they? I didn't realise that they'd be such uh, pesky opponents. Shit. Okay, so I gotta kill those idiotic things first. Alright. Fuck this shit I'm out. Fuck this shit I'm out. Oh. No. Oh. Ugh. Please? Oh, hey, girl. Not yet. Oh no, we can... Yeah, cross slash is fine. Oh, and I shouldn't have done cure. Fine. 
fun. Um, so we want Tifa to get this, okay. Let's just get this out of the way, no, 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 just... Issues grenades. Hey Cloud, catch this. What? No, you catch this. Hey Yuffie, catch this. Catch this. Yep, that's good. Um... Okay, that's good, that's good. Sense, okay. Come on. Do it. Damn it. I don't think this kills her though. trying to do bitch. I know what you're trying to do bitch. No no no. There it is. Wait, wait, wait what? What's this? How dare you. Thank you. This, this is a timed event, so I have to talk to her, I believe. <laughs> okay, look, again, I can just reset and start from the save if I fuck up, so... I'm overthinking this. Yeah. I like how she's on the ground, she's blinking. Can you see the sprite? <laughs> it's just little... is this dialogue. Now all I have to do is a little this and a little that. Nuck, nuck, nuck. <laughs> this is a 16 year old girl. Nyak nyak nyak. What the hell. This is why Yuffie is best. Alright. Well now that's out of the way. Uh, let me go back to Fort Condor. Without dying. Hopefully, sleeping in the beds will resurrect me. I believe they will. 
Eh, I'm enlisted. And I think we're gonna swap the um the cure combo. Yeah. Yeah. This can also put you in long range too, so you can be yeah, you can be back there. Yeah, 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 it's good. That works out well. Hey, Grandpa, I'm just uh, gonna sleep in your bed again. I'll I'll do the boomerang tomorrow. I'll do the boomerang tomorrow. Let's have a look at um Yuffie's stats or rather her equipment. Carbon mangle. Is there anything we want to do? Don't think so. Yuffie is level 17. Oh boy. Anyway. Um, let's get the goyles back. There we go. Again, we'll save outside of Fort Condor. Alright. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. That will be it for today's PlayStation, which I think was uh, quite substantial. Quite a substantial playthrough. 